You got to accept. Wait, are they ready to type? Where, where do I type? <laughs> you can go over to YouTube and watch it in YouTube. Yeah, let that me do. I'm going to do it in YouTube because I think I know how to type better in YouTube. Just don't forget to mute. Why are we oh. not going live? Wait, am I muting? Where am I muting myself? Mute oh. yourself in YouTube. Hey, chicken. Mute myself in YouTube. Okay, yeah. I'll do that right away. Mute right away. Yeah, that way we shouldn't have any feedback. Hey, everybody, we've got Laura, the Jersey Crafter, as our guest moderator today. What? So exciting. Okay, I have to find Brock the Jersey. Brock the Jersey Crafter. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm muting. I'm muting. I know. Mute. <laughs> sorry. All that technology is getting up in your grill, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> There we go. Amy, you already have a, a bucket. You might as well fill it up, girl. Margie! <laughs> yes, my Margie was first at the door, that lovely woman. I love Margie so much. I love seeing you here, Margie. I love you. Thanks, all of you, for coming, Mindy. Are you so sick of me yet? Oh, Hyacinth is here. Darrington's in the house. My grandma is here. Moi, moi. It's about time. Sorry, Martin. <laughs> I had to get coffee. It was. I have to deal with Farrington, you see, and so uh, coffee is necessary. <laughs> <laughs> she set it herself up there. Hey, Nikki. Yay, Lucy. Did you get a notification finally? Oh, Janine. Janine, I've made a terrible error. Have you shopped the past couple days or was it our other Janine? I did not write it clearly to myself. And I don't think it was you, but can you just clear that up for me? <laughs> hey, Patricia. And there's Kay and there's Anne and Chris. What? So exciting. It's so exciting. She is a rascal. That <laughs> the rascal, Farrington. Oh, you did. Okay, I'm going to send you a message because I may have messed up. <laughs> Let me make a note. This is me making a note. I'm so sorry, Janine. It's been just a whirlwind of activity. Oh, yay. Well, Lucy, I'm sorry you didn't get a notification. All right. So, Janine, I'll send you a message and figure out. I will not try to make you have things that you did not care for. <laughs> Just Kay Borland singing, yay, yay, the gang's all here. Yay. With our Kay Borland. I know. I'd love to see Kay Borland. And Patricia Cook, so lovely. Two of our friends I haven't seen in a while or don't see and that Linda often. Carruthers. Hello, Linda. I don't see Linda Carruthers. I'm yeah. not on chat. Whoops. If I missed anybody, hi. Donna. Oh, and for anyone watching later, thank you so much. This is a live sale. Um, if you enjoy what you see, please like it and subscribe and click the little bell and you get notified whenever I go on live or carry on in some other YouTube fashion. So that would be awesome. Thank you very much. Hey, I did. I remembered 87. I'm so proud. I'm really proud of you because I never remember. I hardly ever do, but I'm getting better. Elaine, you look unblocked. I can see you. Elaine has been blocked the last two days and couldn't shop. So, oh, you Elaine need to give me your, you need to give me a wrench. So, if you want me to do the, oh, I do. Elaine. Where are you? Hey, Eileen. Hi, Hi Lori B and Eileen. Oh, there you are. Um, what, not yet today, Lori. We are not sure. She was supposed to call this morning and didn't. Ah, <sighs> poor mom. I know. Oh, mom. It looks like his cardiac surgery is going to be Wednesday as long as the uh, COVID trend at the hospital settles down. <laughs> <laughs> Margie! <laughs> oh, I'm having one of those, Margie. <laughs> oh, Margie, please. I'm just coming out of my own. <laughs> yeah, I have, I'm having one. I'm in the middle of it. Sorry, guys. Good luck, Brooke. Good luck on that. <laughs> I have only take a couple of years. Yeah. Nicole. It'll go. I'll, I'll get over it. Nicole's here. Hello, Nicole. Eileen got that. Oh, Eileen got her journal she bought from Lori B., you lucky dog. I have to say, I was fortunate enough to be gifted one by my grandma, and it's friggin' gorgeous. Who's your grandma? 
Lori B is my grandma. I didn't know she was your grandma. One day I said I didn't have any grandparents left. And she said she would be my grandma and let me sit on her lap and hug me. Oh, she was. She's so sweet. I know. It made me so happy. I think I'm older than she is, but it works for me. (laughs) (laughs) Just not split hairs. She's so sweet, that Lori B. She's a a heart of gold, that one. Yep. Heart of gold. There's 007. Our Christina's in the house. Why, Eileen? She needs to make more so you can come in and swoop them all up from us. (laughs) <laughs> oh, that sounds like a challenge, Eileen. Nana, there's my grandma. My Nana's here. Nana, Nana, I, Nana. I claim her. I claim that grandma. She's my Nana. People think she's actually my Nana, too. <laughs> she's, she's an awesome Nana as well. Wow. Okay, you guys, so there really was a suitcase. I wasn't kidding. Here, I'll show it to you. Eileen, not lions. When is your birthday? I think it's in October. Oh, I got to shut it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. There. Oh no, Donna's still with the migraines. Here's the suitcase driving by. Badsy, haven't seen you forever. How lovely. Oh, Laura, we got a lag, girl. We do. Whoa. Okay. Well, how long is it? Can we tell? Uh, that looks like a good 12 seconds to me, at least. Okay. Uh, so, you guys, if you can be patient with the lag, it's a lot easier and probably more entertaining for you to have Laura on with us, even though StreamYard slows us down. Oh my God. I'm, a, I'm an entertainment. <laughs> you are. Um, so, keep that in mind that there's a lag. But that was the suitcase. And I found it at Round Top, uh, the antique extravaganza in Texas, when we were there doing the road show, oh, these many years ago. Whoa, these many years ago, even. Um, and it, I had no idea what was in it. I unzipped it and peeked in and said, yeah, okay, I'll take this. And the lady didn't even know what was in it. She's like, okay. So I bought it just after peeking in. And there's some cool stuff in there. So we're going to do build the bundles all the live long day. That will have tons of cool ephemera. Uh, one of the things that was in there, the person who owned, uh, well, I don't know. I, I can't figure out how many people's paperwork was in the suitcase because I c- tried to put some stories together. No. A sneaky peeky. Yep. Somebody was heavily into decoupage back in the day. These are reproductions. Those oh, are crazy girls. What? Aren't those cute? Where's Jean? Where is Jean? I'm going to message her. Work. And Peggy, too. I'm going to message Aaron, Peggy. I'm sorry, people, in case you don't know, Jean, Peggy, and Aaron and I all met Brooke and Nam in Pennsylvania a year and a half ago. So it's a little bit of a a thing for me. (laughs) Um, These are reproductions. These are things that were printed out. It's Art Chick Studio. They're they're, gorgeous, Brooke. They're gorgeous. And there's so much of it. Look at that. That reminds me of Jean. That's why, that's why, as soon as I looked at it, I'm like, where's Gene? I mean, you right? Doesn't that just scream Gene? Then we're talking Gene Moran and Aaron Clawson and Peggy Fitzmorris. And here's a buttload of wings, a metric butt ton of wings. So, yeah, I mean, most of the stuff in there was old, uh, but this isn't. It's, I would say it's vintage at this point, but um, super cool. And then there's a whole envelope. Oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys, look at the cows. Really, Lucy? Yes, we met. At the time <laughs> we it was that time we were visiting you, Eileen. <laughs> Eileen, we were on our way to visit you. What are you talking about? <laughs> look at their crazy little eyes. <sighs> oh no, Donna. I know how that goes, honey. I'm sorry. You only have an arm ton of wings. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, a bunch of little bits like this. So yeah, look at that. That is really cool. Uh, and then there's this whole bag full. Wait, this is all coming out of this tr- the suitcase? Yeah, on the top layer was all of this stuff. And then underneath were what I from what I can see, a bunch of different people's paperwork, just like out of their junk drawers or something. It was odd. So, so cool. 
This is unique, Brooke. I, I mean, you know me. I go to a lot of live sales in my life now since I've been around here, and whew, that is cool. Yeah, I was, I, you know, I can't believe it's taken me this long to get to it, but you know, last year kind of was not as expected. <laughs> so, well, yeah, it's very cool. Very cool find. I like it. I, yeah, and there's just, I mean, if anyone's interested in vintage correspondence, we'll be going through this today. Let me just, let me, let me just show you this. No, it's good to get a little preview of what's happening. Plus, we're waiting for, you know, it's good to wait and let a couple people come in. Yeah, Anne said, what an incredible find. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's super cool. And I sort of sorted it, uh, you know, loosely. That is all mail, handwritten mail. Um, so, yeah, we got, oh, oh, oh. And so many canceled checks from the San Diego bank from the 40s with deposits so much coolness that's right it's even more antique -y. we've got so many of these i did lucy i think that's so cool that she does shows now oh here know, comes right? elisa, hold on elisa wants wings elisa we eileen did you tell me when your birthday is i want to know eileen lyon's birthday before the end of the stream i don't see I an answer. Say february october or October. I don't know why. Right, but probably both I'll, are wrong. I'll get the information from Kathy Berg if I have to. Ha! We'll beat it out of her. We'll beat it out of you, Eileen. Okay. So here's my plan. Here's my thought. Um, I started out and made some bases that I thought were worth $15. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is I'll just start putting stuff on it. And when it looks like people think it's worth $20, We'll get a, we'll get a, a me and off we go. Does that make sense? Yeah, that sounds great. I'm just going to do that. All you got to tell me is what I'm not calling it. She was born on Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> and the oh, world was born. Um, so um, what am I going to call it? Build a bundle? Bundle building? Sure. Bundle building. I'm going to call it something else. Bundle call building. Call it ephemera stacking. Ephemera stacking. <laughs> spell ephemera. And I only don't, I, I always spell check that. So let's call it something else. <laughs> Goodie goody stacking. Goodie stacking. Can you believe they actually let me teach English? Goodie stacking. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. Goodie so, stacking. $15 is the beginning? Yep. And then I'll start dealing stuff out. And I'm mm. thinking... Yeah, let's do it at twenty dollars until someone thinks it looks like twenty dollars. I really want to make it accessible, available for everybody, even if you're watching your pennies. So I put okay. We're gonna make sure everybody understands how this works. I'm gonna put in goodie stacking twenty dollars. Yep. Go and look at me. I've already put the numbers. Aren't I good? I'm gonna put goodie stacking twenty dollars. Go and then when they think it's twenty dollars, they're gonna put in me and a number and a number one or two. You guys get it? All right, I'm putting in the go. <laughs> well, let me show what the base is first because I did put together some oh, bases. Never mind, I'm retracting. That's, um, Sorry. These are all pretty, the bases are pretty similar. Eileen says to call them junk journal pack of crap. Oh, that's nice. Let's, let's use that one. Uh, yes, Nam is happy that I'm selling my goodies. He encourages it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the kind of guy he is. <laughs> yeah. So each bundle is going to start with this little pack of postage stamps that were gifted to me from someone who is awesome. And look, you guys, look at that. They're all cut out to exactly the same size. Whoa, these are fab. Aren't those neat? So each one is, I love how they're cut. I know. Um, it's, they're between 15 and 20 in there. I got super tired of counting those, I got to tell you. <laughs> put the whole content, should I just put it all back in the... Um, Suitcase margin, and you'll just take it all. <laughs> That's what she's talking about. <laughs> That's what Margie <laughs> means. Just put the suitcase. Hey, Barb's in the house too. Hey, Barbara. Me is just like a me. The pot pie's here. The pot pie. So here's a, a green uh, stamps book as well. Most of them are full. These were also gifted to me um, in a rather sizable quantity, which is amazing. Amazing. And then each bundle will have a couple cabinet cards. 
Aren't they cute? I love them. I think they're great. That family does not look like they're big on having fun. (laughs) (laughs) And then this one has a lot of them will have um, the, what are these things called? The, it's a frame. It's a it's the cabinet card itself, I guess. But empty one. That's cool looking. Souvenir postcards. This one hasn't been opened in a long time. Yeah. So the bases are similar but different. You know what I mean? Aren't they yeah. beautiful, Lucy? Hey, Pam. Oh, look, California. Hi, Town Square Studio. Is that Pam? It is Pam Perella. Well, welcome, Pam. I'm Laura. Welcome. I'm Laura the Jersey Crafter. Oh, what boats are those? Is it? It's the Rose uh, Bowl, it looks like. Oh, very oh, good. No, uh, Pasadena. That's the Rose Bowl, Rose Bowl, right? I don't know. I think it is. Cool. I just know that. Rose Bowl's football. I know that much. The Tournament of Roses, yep, 1931. So that's kind of cool. And then these are still, I'm sorry for the glare. These are still in their fancy pants because they are pretty valuable and pretty delicate. This is a receipt from 1890, one from 1893. Sorry about the glare. Very cool. Well, the glare, you're doing really well with the glare. I'm trying to corral it. I tried it without my ring light, and I was just sitting here in the dark. It wouldn't have been that much fun. (laughs) It is Donna. Cool, right? So, okay. So that is the general idea of the base. Great. And the base is $20. Well, people, I have a friend who says good value. (laughs) Yeah. So I thought that was $15 worth. That's a great value. It's hard to part with some of this. (laughs) <laughs> and then I'm just, them, people i'm just gonna tell you because i can with my big mouth that i paid more for the, the great value that's all i'm gonna say hey janice klein and some of them that don't have the postcards will have this cool um 1940s stamp news magazine thanks donna janice i cannot find the pokey little puppy it's ridiculous to say i don't have one i have a big note on oh, I had the pokey little puppy. I gave it away. Who wanted it? Um, Janice was looking for one, but dude, I have all of the. I gave it away, Janice. I'm sorry. I've got to have one. I'll find you one. No worries. I'll get it to you. So this is that cute little old stamp news. Um, so we either have a stamp news or a postcard book. So those are the bases of the awesomeness. And now I'm just going to start. I've got about, uh, I think, 15 bases that we can do. Is that ever going to go back in there? You think you bought it, Nana? (laughs) Yeah, but, you know, the classics like that, I always have a million of. Hey, Debbie. Somebody somebody will get it to Janice. We'll find one. We'll find one, Janice. Somebody will have it. I'm sorry, baby, what? No, no, go ahead. Okay. Oh, wait. One sec. My kiddo has a question. I'll be right back. I'm going to mute. You got it. You got it. Hi, Debbie Long and Rosemary Morris. How are you? These are really nice bases, guys, for starting. So the deal is, if you haven't done this before, she's going to start each of these at 20, but it's not $20 for just for these. Okay. She's going to, this is the base. And then she's going to add things out of the suitcase And um, she's going to, when you feel that the full thing is worth $20, then you say me and then which pile you want. That's how it works. Hey, JP. Oh, you think you bought the Pokey Puppy from me, Nana? I don't remember. See, look, JP thinks she has a Pokey Puppy. We all have so many of these books. Oh, Janice, we will find you a Pokey Puppy. And Janice, did you get my email? That's what I want to know. Janice Glines, did you get the email I sent you today? Because it is funny. I don't know if the suitcase itself is for sale. It's a good question. I'm sorry about that. Victoria is working on something for class and needed myself. No, no, sorry. We have a good question that came up while you were gone. Is the actual suitcase for sale itself? Sure. If someone wants the suitcase, I can sell it. It is... um... It's an 80s suitcase is my guess, and it's a little musty. I mean, it's not moldy or anything. It's just dusty and stuff. 
It was under a table on the ground at high top, round top. Did I say high top, round top? High top, wait a minute. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go there. Maybe they only sell sneakers. Uh, or right. maybe it's held Maybe it's held in Washington State. All right. Oh, yeah. anyway. All right, so here we go. We're going to put some checks down on these guys. These are 1940 San Diego Bank of Texas. Yes, Texas, because it was round top. Let's put a few more because they're super cool. And let's put down some correspondence. The correspondence those are fun. I love those checks. I do too. I like the holes in them. Yes, exactly. Like the computer mic markings of the day. Yes, yes. It's so funny. Uh, the correspondence is some empty envelopes. This one is empty. And the dates are all over the place. This one doesn't feel empty, but it's cut in half. No, it's not cut in half. Oh, there's something. Oh, there's a little, like, it looks like a birth announcement or something in there. But I don't want to open it. We'll make it a surprise. Congratulations and best wishes. Oh, I have to put it in. Oh, my God. I'm too busy looking at the screen. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> Ooh, February 21st, 1922. And I didn't sort this at all. I just put everything in. Um, piles it looked like correspondence i put it in that pile yes this is the adult home version of grandma's suitcase yes round top thank you janice i don't know ours aren't as fun well do we even have checks i haven't gotten a bank statement in all of eternity i'm so used to shopping i, I know I apologize i could just put it, i put it in people <laughs> sorry right. about that i was shopping i'm not shopping i'm i'm modding Wow, I don't know the date on this. Former jurisdiction jurisdiction of something, Mexico. Wow, this, yeah, it looks like it was a letter from war. Oh, and this is another page of it. Fairly brittle, but look at the handwriting. Isn't that fun? I don't know, Lucy. You know what? I think everything old is going to become, you know, you know how everything old becomes new again? Yep. Like 80s fashion. <laughs> Another letter. This one is um, no date. That's mean. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Um, looking for dates. 1915. And this is the envelope for it. Oh, look at that cool envelope. There is no letter in there. Uh, oh, get out of town. Airmail. Love it. I'm going to put that one in this one because this one doesn't have as many old ones. All right. <laughs> Eileen, yes. you're the <laughs> Eileen is now new. Oh, I love that paper color. Wait, what is that? Airmail? This is airmail, yeah. So, Ooh, um, cool. This one they used to write this way and then write on the margins and everything else. That's weird that it wasn't written on in the back. Yeah. And then let's see here. We've got some miscellaneous paperwork. Just rando paperwork. Some business card. I love vintage business cards. Monterey NL Mexico. What is NL Mexico? New Lower Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a lot. I've only been to uh, Mexico once to Puerto Vallarta, and it was with my dad, so it was at some resort. Me too. <laughs> Puerto Vallarta. <laughs> We just went to the jungle on four, through four wheelers. That was fun. Is that onion paper? It's a little heavier. It is uh, not a typing paper, but it's from 1930. Listen, listen. Yes, Janice. Cool. Victorian, right? So that one's going to go there. It's Kent Place School. Alumni, nay, alumni and former students who have subscribed. Kent Place. Where is it? I don't know. I'm Please. guessing Texas. Oh, 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 what's this? What's this? What's this? It's a map. Oh, hello, lover. Look at that. Ooh. It's cracked, but it's beautiful. Oh, nice. She's a whopper. That's the cool. That's got, I, I love the feeling of that paper. I can tell what kind of paper that is. Yeah, it's really thin and kind of yeah. shiny. 
Yeah, it's that. Yes, it's that. I know. I love that paper. Oh, first Peter, this is a good know. deal. This this map is worth twenty bucks. <laughs> People, this map alone is twenty bucks. Oh my god, that's a great deal. Why well, I want a map? Oh, oh, good luck, to Rosemary. She's taking the uh, going to the vet. I was there all week. No, I hope she. I did, that. Elisa. The deal is, you get the whole thing for twenty dollars when you say me, whichever pile you want. Number one is twenty dollars as she builds it. There you go. Donna Matoy wants pile number two for twenty dollars. All right, Donna. I lost. Oh, it ate the number two. Thank you, Donna. I mean. Thank you, Elisa. Yeah. Jersey, explain the process. Elisa, I did. It sounded like, it seemed like no one was listening, Elisa. Well, it's kind of just... Ooh, Barrington wants to know, can she bid a bo on both at the same time? Yeah, if you want to. Well, you can't now, but you can do it Yeah, well, why not, right? You got a whole suitcase. Yeah, there's plenty. There's plenty. No and short. I know, right? Lucy said, what an amazing deal for $20. Right, Lucy? Come Lucy on. knows. I didn't know how else to do it. Carl, oh, Carl Farrington wants number one. Yeah. Well, Look thank at the you, Carl Farrington. Oh, Jersey, let's do a giveaway because I forgot yesterday because I'm a butthead. I'm an asshat. You're not an asshat. Don't call yourself that. Only call <laughs> other people an asshats, okay? Oh, Eileen is an asshat. <laughs> Eileen is not an ass at. <laughs> <laughs> it was just an example. I was just trying to. Uh, you know what? You need to hang out with Romeo. I told him yesterday, if you if you do this, if, if I'm acting a certain way, you can use this phrase with me. Okay? I said, I said, you can say, don't take it personally, honey. He proceeded, everything else I said for the rest of last night, he proceeded to go, don't take it. He would go, he would go sit like this. He would go like, you're an asset. Don't take it personally, honey. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> well, you gave him, you know. You I gave said, him an opportunity. I said, honey, that's not what I meant. <laughs> and then there is that other fun one, twat waffle. Margie's. Favorite. Oh, yeah. You know what Margie did to me one time, Margie, when she first came to my stream. I, yeah, Margie, real funny. I never heard of that word. I never read it, never heard of it. First time Margie came to the Jersey Crafter when I first came onto YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Margie, Margie puts it in the chat and I'm like, I never heard of that. What does that mean? What's that word? And the whole chat went insane laughing. And, like, oh, no. and I, I, I couldn't pronounce it. And look at Margie. She's laughing now. Margie knows. She remembers. I could Margie might be an ass <laughs> Yeah, she was an ass hat that day. <laughs> she looks, she goes, I remember that was so hilarious. <laughs> Eileen, I tried to peek to see if he had pants on and I just couldn't see under there. The way he was standing, no good. No good. Look at Eileen, does he have <laughs> Nicole? Margie introduced me to it. I'm very sheltered in some very ways. Sheltered. Um, Look at okay. Brooks, like very sheltered. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this as the first giveaway. These are authentic vintage Western Union telegram blanks. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. And Nicole, I know it's a really great price, but you know what? I got a really good deal on the suitcase and I we got to move stuff, man. I'm ready to go pick in and get some new stuff. Snoo stuff. A Santa Graham. Oh God, is that cute? Isn't that cute? This, there's someone, there was someone in the area who must have done telegram transcribing because I found this whole lot of the blank telegrams and they had the telegraph or telegram machine with it. <gasps> That is adorable. Aren't they beautiful? Oh my God. That is, is the a, cutest thing ever. I love them. And this one is brittle. This is just a blank. The blank. They're old. <laughs> so I think I looked it up and I think these were from the 30s. So they're kind of cool. So let's give this little bundle away. Okay. Shall we? How do you want to do the giveaway? Um, I'm boring. So let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? Let's do something different. We could do a trivia question. Okay, can you think of one? No, no, I absolutely can't. <laughs> I'm not Aaron. It was just, a, it was a suggestion, but I'm not Aaron. Where, darn it, hoodie, we need you. Okay, what I was thinking is we could put in these, and I'm getting out my flinch cards. 
Ami was kind enough to point out, I don't know how to count. I do have Google Nest here that could pick a number. I have that. I mean, I do have that to offer. Well, I'm thinking if we have people put in, people that want it as a giveaway could put in their me. Oh. And then I'm going to shuffle these up and we'll pick that number me. How does that work? That sounds that great. great. I don't really understand. Great. I don't really know. You can do whatever you want. I'm just going to put in, um, I'm just going to put in giveaway go. Is that what you want me to do? Works for me. Hey, Joanna is here. All right, guys. I'm, I'm gonna hit, no, do not do anything, you people, until I you see my go. And then what are they going to do? Put in, just put in your Put name. in a me if you'd like to have these. And I'm going to shuffle up these cards. And whatever number it is, that number me is going to win. Great idea, Brooke, for me and you, because we're not good at the other kind. Ready, guys? When you see the go, just like you're buying something, enter me. What is that, Google? Brooke, I think you just invented the best way to do a giveaway ever. Did I have a moment of clarity? Holy Christmas. <laughs> All right, then. Yes. I'm going to say at this point, probably stop, you guys. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to keep going. We only I'm... go up to 14. This is beautiful, Brooke. Yes. All right. All right. Which card am I picking, Jersey? Hold on. I got to scroll back up because they didn't listen. All right. Uh, you're picking, uh, we just pick a card, any card. What do you mean? We just, uh, what do you mean? I don't know what you mean. Tell me when to stop. Stop. All right. Number 12. Okay, we got to count. No chatting. This involves math and because we're looking for the number 12 me. <laughs> that could go horribly wrong. Okay, one. You got it? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I see what I think is 12. Donna Matoy. I think you're right. Yay, Donna! Good, Donna. Fun. Okay, that was horribly fun. We'll do some more giveaways. That worked really well. That was good. Did you guys like it that way? I mean, I know it's so not, easy. not the most thrilling thing in the world. That was really, really easy. Well, and I think with the lag, it might give everybody more of a chance. And what frankly, when all the numbers... Frankly, it's something free, and I think people shouldn't complain. What is it that they say to kids, you get what you get? That's just, that's what they say to the kindergartners, man. In right. the kindergarten class, they say, you get what you get, and you don't get upset. And I right. don't care if the lag counts. It's something free and tough crap. <laughs> well, then there's that, too. But when all the numbers start flying, it makes me have a headache. It's harder for the people running the, thing, the giveaways when we have to deal with all the numbers. It's too much stress. Right. Oh, no, because there weren't enough numbers. Well, Nikki, it's the people that got in first. But yeah. You know what, guys? It's, it's four pieces of paper, you know? Move on. All right. Well, then there's that, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I'm, modding. I'm modding. I like it. Okay, so we're starting with the same two ba same bases, not the same two, but close. <gasps> we have to get our numbers out. I put them back in their little pile. <laughs> Janice. Janice knows me a long time now. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, scoot it over a little bit. And there's our one. Yeah, someone's going to end up with the um, flinch cards in their bucket. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I just know it. You're going to be, you know what, you, hey, guess what, you guys will learn. You'll, you'll get a flinch card if you, if you don't win. <laughs> yeah. All right, then. Number one, number two, say, oh, thanks, Nicole. Same idea. Um, right, Nicole? One of the fancy, and these are fancy. Well, you can see someone was a serious collector. Um, so one of those, if they didn't have, if it wasn't super cool, I put two in. This is 1893, you guys. Look at the handwriting. Wow. 1893 is old. It's old. Yep. And then look at that. Can you see the pattern on this? Wow. It's flowers. What? Flowers. It's cool. It was that, wait, the pattern on the... um. Paper? What is that? It's it had a cabinet card in it. There's no card, but look how beautiful. Oh, it's the it's the folder. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't see it till you opened it. I yeah. get a okay. Then there's you know you got a couple cab uh, of cabinet card photos. Wow. You get your saver book. You get your little packet of fun postage stamps. This one has oh wait oh there we go. This one has um, the Berkshires Mohawk Trail postcard. And then, oh, this one's supposed to go over here. And then the same deal over here. 
this one gets um, Houston, Texas postcards. All right, so those are the bases, you guys. Okay. I'm going to start dealing stuff out. And start typing it in. Cool. When you think it's worth $20, say me and a number. or you, And you can have two if you want, you guys, because I've got plenty of bases to go. I love those shoes. Let's put a wing in this one. Where is my... Mm. Uh oh, stuff's happening. Stuff. Right. Yeah, some of the stuff has been cut out, some has not. I'm glad you're having fun, Miss Nicole. I'm having fun. It is fun. Our governor has now moved the um, <sighs> Fauci ouchie date to our age to 60. That's down. You call it the, they call it the Fauci ouchie. Age. That's what um, Farrington calls it, or Biddleston, what, uh, Biddleston, <laughs> which makes me laugh. I didn't hear her say that. That's yeah. great. I, oh, I don't know. That makes me dizzy. I'll put it in because it'd be fun for collaging. To wait, so when does he move it to? Uh, 60 year olds can start getting appointments now. So That's since I'm 55, I'm hoping. That before too long, we'll be getting able to get in line. That's good. Romeo yeah. Romeo signed up today. The teacher he got an email yesterday afternoon, so he's uh, uh, that he's eligible. He was like, "What do I have to? What do I have to go back to work?" I said, "You're going. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't matter. Call in sick, whatever. There should be no no. He's oh, going. Yeah, Donna. Oh, Donna. I love this. Look at that, dearest Dolly. <laughs> That's fine. I love that kind of paper to collage with. I know people, yeah. love it, but I love Beautiful it. Beautiful handwriting. Ooh, um, empty envelope, but it has. Look, it's a window envelope from back back in the day. Wow, now that is rare. Sixty-seven. To see, yeah, yeah. To see that in, intact like that. Registered letter. Ah, it's empty. Four yeah. cents. Look at the little four cents on that. Yeah. Look, it, it was sealed, and it's all fancy and stuff, but. Nothing in it. Mean. <laughs> hey, it has a number 87 on it. it do, oh, it does. Oh, and it says Oxford. I'm sorry, that's going out. <laughs> oh, dear mom, camp is fun. That's cute. Here, we'll put something. Oh, look at that. That's cool. We'll replace oh, it. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Nothing in it. But really crunchy, beautiful. Yeah, I did. It looked like there were some munches, didn't it, Lucy? Ooh, here is happy anniversary, February 1982. What? That was kind of old for 82, doesn't it? Well, something must have been laying on it by the sun or something. Yeah, must have been uh, at the top of the pile. Ooh, look at that. So many different kinds of handwriting in this. That's, I thought, you know, there are some names that are the same, but there's so many different ones. I couldn't piece together anything. It's so cool, though. I mean, if you buy one of these bundles, you're getting like all this different, like you know what I mean? Like, like it's just so cool. I mean, I mean, oh, the ephemera you could ever need. Yeah, I mean, but you're getting like so many different handwritings in just one pile here. And I think that handwritten pieces make the best for collage, and because, um, and you don't have to have just print offs if you get this. You know what I mean? Right. It's not I, I prefer not to use it. Like uh, for me, I rather have the original paper. I, I like to collage with the actual paper. Yeah, I like that too. Miss Dorothy Ann. Oh, I forgot. I saw some of these. Dorothy Ann G, care of the nurses home, state sanatorium, Arkansas. Oh, Lord bless you, girl. I know. She got a lot of mail. I'm happy to report. I'm glad she got some mail, man, because those sanatorium back in the day, not so good. <laughs> I never can remember was sanatorium yeah. for health or for mental. I believe that was a mental institution. I don't know. Could be oh dear. sanatorium. I think I don't know sanatorium. Do you people know? Hi, Kylie Gray. It did look good. I know eighties were forty years ago, Lucy. Oh, hi, Kylie. Yeah, dude, they were because I'm forty four. Am I forty four? No, I'm forty three, and I was oh, born in seventy seven. I was born in seventy seven. Baby, Kylie Gray, welcome. Wow. Sounds like the name of an old Kylie Gray. Sound your name sounds like something out of a fiction book. Yeah, or a movie. Are you right? a movie star, Kylie? You should be. 
Um, this is really cool, you guys. 1945, somewhere in Italy. So, Ooh, it, wait, it just says somewhere in Italy? When During the war, they had they couldn't say where they were. Oh, I was like, that's, oh, it reminds me of National Lampoon's European Vacation, where he says somewhere in Germany. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this, you guys. Passed by Army Examiner. Mar Margie just occurred to Margie. I'm younger than her daughter. See, Margie? Oh, I didn't know what the twat waffle was. Okay, it was long-term medical illness. Oh, sanatorium. Oh, I thought it was for no Looney, Looney Tunes. So is a sanitarium for... Sanatorium. Is it sanitarium? Mm. Yeah, they're two different things, I think. I put that one in this pile, you guys. Well, I don't know, Mar. I don't know, but either way. Mm. Well, there still are, Lucy. All right, this is looking good. Come on, people. $20! <laughs> That's my girl. Hold on, we got to get to the chat. Look at these people. Laura, I've got clogs as old as you, Laura. Well, guess what? Nicole is two years younger than me. She's my little brother's age. <laughs> All right. What's this now? These are those cool checks. Are they green? They are. Well, they were green. Oh, look at that. Yeah, but uh, I've never seen a green one. I've seen pink ones and blue ones. They're fading towards brown rapidly. Yeah. It looks like 42. So they're... Elderly. Sanitarium was mental health. Woo, woo, no, thank you. No, I don't want to go there. Oh, wait. Okay, wait, wait. Nicole's oh. only one year younger than me. Okay. Oh. My <laughs> you guys are killing me. Come on for 20 bucks. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on, people. They know I'm a sucker. I'll keep going. What time? Right, lots of checks. How about. Oh, I love how this looks. Okay, this is fun. This is the statement. Oh, oh Pam at Pandora's Junk Journal. Which one you want, Pam? You want both or which one? Um, we I the numbers. You, you can, you can <laughs> say number two is on the right. right. Number one is on the left. And hi, Pam. And hi, Pam. I've been so. Speaking enjoying. of someone else who also makes phenomenal journals. Oh my gosh, I've been so enjoying your series on Snippet Roll. Nicole, do you want to get on here and mod? She's modding for me. She said, you guys get all this for $20. Say me if you want it. <laughs> She's our Barker. Nice. No, I do appreciate that, Nicole. She wants number one, Pam does. All righty. Anne, would you like number two? And Oh, Anne wants number one. Uh-oh. Wait, Anne Lair had wanted number one. Anne, do you want number two? Oh, wait, did you just ask her that? I'm sorry. I did, but that's all right. We're waiting. Um, oh, Pam, you're so welcome. Now make another slip. Still or deal, Pam killer deal <laughs> okay all right well hold on yeah. ann wants it first because then nikki g came in to after her oh okay nikki we got more no worries Oops, i need my real sticker yeah he wants number two ann wants number two but nikki no worries and that is... No, Nicole, I'm busting your chops. You know that. Nicole, look at how <laughs> people started getting in there. Nicole, people started taking it seriously once you started saying something. That's right. Damn, I've been married longer than that. Yeah, because your husband is amazing. Oh, look. It was almost Pam that got the flinch car. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, I'm <almost> <laughs> That's funny. Well, I have to go find some more quality um, zip locks. Oh, know, was... People, you know what she's doing? She's busting on her own chops about these Ziplocs. Everybody else uses them in their live sales, but God forbid Brooke uses a Ziploc. <laughs> I do like the crinkly bags, although the ones I've had to open during these sales has been awful. So there you go. Maybe the Ziplocs are the way to go. Maybe, but... Mumble up and use a oh, Ziploc. The, I was figuring in the... Um, <laughs> so I mean, I'm 73, <laughs> so watch it. No way. <laughs> I mean, it's only a young pup. Listen, Romeo, people, Romeo is 62, so watch calling everybody old. My my little, my hot man is 62. He's hot, too, people. Okay, He is. I've he seen is. him scooting around that kitchen. Mm -hmm. That's right. You have. Julie, how are you? Julie, Julie, Julie. Be respectful to Eileen. Fat chance. Darn straight, Nicole. Me, too. I completely <laughs> aspire to it. Guys, what did I do with the two? I pulled it out of the bag and then it disappears. 
Nicole, a hundred and fifty percent. I am is a hundred and fifty percent. I want to have that kind of fabric when I'm when I am seventy three. I will have that fabric. Not I want to. I will have that fabric when I'm seventy three. Yes, she will. Mm -hmm. Bago. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Patricia. It was. Rebecca Willis said, Brooke, get your number two out of the ephemera. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> I thought I grabbed it, but no. Yes, People that's right, Pam. Pam, oh. that's why we get along. <laughs> you get the jumbo sometimes, Janice? Yeah. I don't know. You're right. For live sales, anyway, I should. Um, okay. Here we go. Patricia Cook said you left a flinch card in Ann's as well. Yep, they both were right. <laughs> Look how earnest that baby looks. That baby has something to say, man. That baby is not creepy. No, sweet. I know. He has something to say. Yeah. And so it's the same deal. This is uh, from 1894. Um, you got your little postage book. You got your savings book. And you got your pile of stamps. Same thing over here. This is 1893. <laughs> you go, Debbie. All right, let's see how. Let's try not to bury the ephemera. Okay, let's start with some checks because we like the checks. All right, so these are still 40s checks. Why don't we put three here? Uh, oh, Pam, I didn't even get it in, Pam. Pam, I got, hold on, Pam, let me put a few more things in. Pam, let me type it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Pam wants number one, so yes. I'm going to just put in some letters and some ephemera stuff. But thank you. I need to get Sorry. Oh, typewritten letters. Handwritten little notes. But Pam gets number one. Goody pile of fun. I thought it was junk journal pile of crap. I was, I was trying to type it faster this time. But Pam goes, I don't know what you are all doing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know, Pam. They just don't know. <laughs> all right, Jersey, one more time. Explain it, explain it to our Pam. Okay. So, there's a, so, Pam, this is how it works. She's putting down the base. And when the base is there, she's going to build onto it. And when you feel that it's worth $20, then you say me. And then the number that you want. Hey, Julie from the old design shop is here. Julie, not too much. Nope, we've done some piles, but we've got more, girl. <laughs> and if you didn't hear what I said, Julie, she's she's building a base of of a uh, of of material of ephemera out of the suitcase that she has, and then she's piling on more. And when you feel that you're you know at a twenty dollar pile, then you say me and one or two or both. And Donna Matoy would like two. All right, then. Let me go ahead and put these down because they were Why in my mitt. Typing it? Why didn't I just copy and paste? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. That's that, oh, Sorry. I'm really – I haven't done this for a while. I did it for Johnny, you know, before, but I have, I've done it for her before, but it's been a long time, so I just have to get in the groove here. That naughty Johnny got her eyeballs in company. Did she have in company? Oh. She has for, like, two weeks. And it and involves, still, she had more? Oh. Yeah, it involves kids, and she's in constant terror that someone's going to end up in the tub and the – the other tub, the big tub outdoors pool. Yeah, they're build the bundles, people. That's what Margie said. Build the bundles. If you've seen them else, other way, up to other people. <coughs> build a suitcase bundle. Hey, Roy. Roy, what's up? <laughs> yep, it's all kinds of craziness. Well, Roy, it's my channel, and Laura's here. What were you expecting? All right, so Pam was number one. I'll go through uh, when I pull out the next bases. Julia. Yep, Johnny has been up to her eyeballs and she lives in constant fear that one of the littles is going to end up in the pool unattended. Which because little are there? I don't even know. I haven't been on. Um, some of their friends. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess are moving to Colorado, but having a lovely staycation at Johnny's house before. I didn't before know that. 
you know what? The last time I talked to her, she's like, we got to have a, we have to have a crafty date. And then I didn't hear back from her and I didn't know why. And then that, no, I knew she was having company, but then I didn't know that maybe they just overextended. I was like, I have got to, um, I was like, I got to message Johnny. And then I didn't, I just didn't get around to it. I got to message her and tell her I'm so sorry. Now I'm going to have to tell her to, I'm going to text her tonight and say, I'm sorry. I heard my condolences. I heard about you. <laughs> Over, over, overextended uh, company. <laughs> and they're having a pool party tomorrow and she's not happy. <laughs> oh, poor, you know what? She, since, she, since I know she's not listening, I, I will say I sent her a, I sent her a really corny happy mail today. So I'm glad she, she'll get oh, a kick. Right. She'll get the kick out of my big cornball happy mail. I'm, she, that, I, I could just feel in my heart that she needed it. All right. All right. Build next a week. pile of goody fun, people. It is. It's build a pile of junk journaling crap. That's what Eileen likes to call it fondly. <laughs> I'm not calling it that, Eileen. <laughs> All right. So this one has, oh, this is really cool. Um, looking for a date. Looking for a date. Going by the handwriting, it's super old. School board stuff. Oh, cool. I love that school stuff. May 7th, but no, no year. <laughs> Grandma. Oh, she ain't being a grandma right now. <laughs> sure you can, Grandma. You go. No, uh, <laughs> Grandma. Oh, Janice, that's so sweet. <laughs> this oh, is cool. Janice, she'll love it. I want to know the date on this. You know, I'm going to put another one in here because there's no date screaming out how awesomely old it is, although the handwriting is. <laughs> <laughs> Lori. <laughs> you love Lori B, man. She's such a sweetie, and then she comes out with stuff like that. <laughs> just, right, out of left field, and you're like, oh, yes, she is. She is. She is. <laughs> yes, you are. I love it. Big old ball of class. That's why but I that's love it. Fine, Grandma. All right, so that one's dated 1893. The 1893. One behind it, wow. Yeah, the one behind it is old. It just is not dated. Someone's souvenir picture, I'm guessing Italy, but it's like on a cabinet card thingy. Okay. There's a little stack of postage. There's the saver book. Love that image. Oh, I love this. Look at that. It's even got a calling card in there. Okay, you're, we're oh. live on Brooks' channel. I'm moderating. No, you're allowed to talk. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> we all talk. Romeo, you're good. Thanks. Well, we're, we're all a big ball of class here. <laughs> <laughs> she said, we're all a big ball of class. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Wire drop and stick solder. Patent steel can some things. There's a wrinkle in it. Um, 1894. There are your stamps. There's your saver book. There's your little stamp magazine. And here are your cabinet cards. <gasps> Oh, this is one that's not a cabinet card, but it's one of my favorite pictures ever. Are you ready? Hold on to your hats. Whoa, look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? Wow. And it's hair. I know. Wow. So much work. And it looks so shiny. You know, sometimes her hair looks real dry. Yeah. The work oh. put into it. Yeah. Oh. That's some work. All right. So those are the bases, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start putting this stuff on. Okay. I'm ready to type it in. I just can't believe you people. I, the base is alone. <laughs> All right. So this I thought was super cool. Open quick question. Um, quick, quick question from Julie. Is the calling card in the first set attached to the photo? No, it's loose. It's just tucked in, Ju Julie. And it's not stuck either. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes, oh, look. <gasps> look at that dress. I'm going to dress like that all the time. Now that I found out that saris are made for people built opposite of me. <laughs> Serious. Yeah. Um, the Open Road Pioneers Club. Archie Tiernan is qualified for Open Road Pioneers Club, February 25th, 1933. Mm, go Archie. I'm actually going to put that one in there. Oh, I love this. Okay, you guys, come on. Come on. Come on, get with it. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. This I did put together because it was all belonging to one person and I wanted them to stay together. Um, let's see what's in here. 
the Rice Institute, and this is um, some information to Lucille Smith Millsaps. This is Lucille Smith's student ticket. The uh, Millsaps, huh? Huh? The Millsaps? The Millsaps. Isn't that fancy? Oh, that is fancy. This is, uh, it looks like her tuition, <laughs> $35 tuition bill. Uh, her student association card and receipt for another year. And her entrance credit memo dated 1923. And then there's the 12th annual commencement brochure and the rice second annual rice night program or something they were up. To, oh, it looks like it was a um, play or something vaudeville. I don't know. So that all belonged to one person. I love that. That's cool. It's cool. We kept it all together. Yeah, they didn't. Um, I did manage to sort of scare them out of all the cracks and crevices of the suitcase. Dun, dun, dun. You could make a journal and that lady right there could be the Millsap lady with the picture. Yeah. you put. The whole story. Rosemary Morris does that. She makes stories. It's very fun. Yeah, I like that. All right. So let's put out some checks because we love these old 40s checks. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. I just think they're so cool looking. Edwin, what? Can't see what it says. Edwin Despair. That can't be it. Despain? <laughs> that would be sad. It would be sad if your last name is Despair. Oh, that would be hard. Oh, but I already got two thumbs down. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, it all works the same. So thank you, everyone. Little Jills of the Prices? <laughs> uh, 43 is the date on this. Look at that letterhead. Isn't that cool? Thanks, Nicole. You already gave me your thumbs down. Good girl. I know. $35 today maybe gets you a popcorn and a drink at the movie concession. Doesn't even get you the pile of goodies you got right here. $20? Holla over here. Come on, people. Yep. I love those. So those are fun. And let's see. Let's, let's just go over here. Oh, here's some deposit slips. I like these. So they're flimsy paper. <laughs> Thanks, Margie. All righty. And then let's put in a this and a that. Oh, Chris, thank you. Chris wants number two. All right, let me just put this oh, in. Oh, I, I was just going to say, I think I, see a, I think I see a number two. And Elaine will take one. Oh, thanks, guys. Finally, Elaine. I'm so sorry I blocked you. I don't know how I did. I think it was Margie. That's what I think. Let's see if I can put Margie it says, thank you for watching, yeah. everyone. Uh, let's see. It was Elaine. It was Chris for two. All righty. We got some more bags. How exciting is that? Thanks, you guys. Oh, Elisa, I've got more. Never. Or you said, me. hey, she wants me to read the whole thing. I'll read the whole thing. She said, LOL. Wow. Cool. Two thumbs down. Thank you for watching. All right, Marjorie, I read the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what she wants. Do you want to make sure I read the whole thing? I'll read the whole thing. <laughs> Margie wants what she wants when she wants. <laughs> hey, it. I want what I want. <laughs> Me too. I get it. She only right. blocks Nom. <laughs> <laughs> and she does. She used to think he was a troll. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of is, but he's our troll. <laughs> he is not a troll. A little bit. He's been mighty quiet. All right, you guys. So I've got. One, two. These two. two Dorinda can't come. Huh? Dorinda can't come. Aw. I messaged her. Um, weirdo. I know. She said she'd much rather be here buying stuff she doesn't need. <laughs> <laughs> crap. Buying crap. <laughs> she said stuff. <laughs> um, is she with her mom? Yeah. No, oh, she's a good girl. She's such a good girl. All right, so I've got these, and then after these 
two. I've got three bases left. Two bit. How many? Okay. So what? Okay. Hold on. What do we have left? I've got these two and then three more after these. All right. People, are we listening? Listen up, people. That's five total. I still have um, stuff. I just don't have the bases. Mm -hmm. so, okay. That's that. Oh, Kylie, have a great day if you must get up. Okay. So. Okay. Let me write this down. I love this one. This is 1890. It's not marked, but it's 18. Well, let's go with 1893 because that's what they've all been. Baby. It's a baby. Um, oh, and there was another photo in here. It kind of looked like the same BB to me, but huge time differences, so probably not. I'm calling it something else now, people, since we have that. I'm calling it the base of awesome goodies with add-ons, $20. <laughs> Saver book, all those fun stamps. I'll probably show you where the stamps are. I, I just like touching these. For the lovely chicken that gifted me this stuff, I really appreciate it. Too much for me to use myself. <laughs> Um, this is from the Forbes Lithograph Manufacturing Company, 1893. Oh, they even had ripoffs back then. No agents authorized to collect. Pay this bill only by remittance to Boston direct. Huh. So they had folks running around trying to collect stuff that they weren't supposed to. And <laughs> we've got the <laughs> saver book. Oh, this one goes someplace else. Yikes. This looks like some actor. Who's that? That. Wait, uh, I can't. I have to go back on StreamYard to see what you're doing. All right. But then oh, what happens if you're on StreamYard and I start watching and then I don't put it in? He just reminds me of an actor, some actor. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know actors. No, it's olden times, way before us. Yeah, pop culture, I don't know. No, that would not have been pop culture. That would have been like 40s something. And then this is just a cool um, folder. It's cute little girl. And this is a vintage bridge pad. Oh, I, I love, love it. it. I do too. So those are the All good? right. Putting them in. I'm Let's putting go. them in, people. Here we go. Go. Put some of this cool ephemera stuff. See, this is on photo paper. Look at Matt. Barb goes, check Laura's math skills. Barb, I get really good at basic math when there's scarcity of art supplies. <laughs> About the only time. Just going from the top of the pile and headed down. Okay, so this is two, and then we're going to have two more, and then only one more after that. Ooh, sweet thoughts. We'll put some wings. Let's put some whoops. I don't have a lot of sweet thoughts. I have to really work at that. <laughs> it's the cows. I hate to give them up. They're adorable. Put cows over here and wings over here. I don't know why, for no particular reason. Oh, the cows. Where's the wings? I didn't see the wings. Oh, the wing. Oh, the wings are cool. Yeah, they're all stuck together. <laughs> huh. A scan of someone's cool fabric. Hmm. Oh, wow. What a really eclectically awesome bunch of stuff. Hey, Mary Marlowe. Hey, Mary. How are you Mary? doing, my friend? Mary, let me tell you what we're doing. It's Mary, we have a up in here. base of awesome goodies. And then on top of that, she's adding more. And when you think you would like it, you say me and it's $20. The Leyland Line, Liverpool and New Orleans, passenger list. The other thing, Brooke, is you have stuff from all over the place. The bases, as I said, some of it was gifted, some I bought here, and then it was the stuff in the suitcase that I'm putting on top. That's what I mean, though. You've combined yeah. it. It's cool. Yeah. It, because this was just so eclectic. I thought it was super cool. But what you know, how else? I didn't know how else to do it. Well, I think it's really well, well really cool. Well, thank you. Well, you're welcome. Get a kick. 
I was hoping you guys, oh, this is another one of those. Okay, you guys, these are some things belonging to one person that I found that I put together. Um, Madge Yeager. There's some correspondent. correspondent. Okay, people, this isn't my channel. I'm going to make an announcement. There's somebody hey. I know. There's somebody I know with that last name. I wonder if it was her. Nope. It probably um, isn't. It's probably the guy that lives at my house. Oh, uh, secret information. Being maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do a giveaway on my channel with that with that um, trivia or later oh, in the You guys heard it here first. <laughs> uh, so this has uh, Madge's voter registration in 1970, but then it also has 1949 roll tax, poll tax receipt. You just have to pay to vote. Now people would pay you to vote. <laughs> <laughs> and voter registration, 1969. This is all Marge now. Was it Madge? Madge? That's a yep, cool Madge. name. Madge Yeager? Yep. She's Where was she voting? Uh, Texas. She had to pay? Uh, yeah, I think you used to have to. Poll tax. Oh, my God. Kenna oh. said, what a chip trip from Liverpool to New Orleans. Uh, no, I'd go. Well, except now I'm terrified of cruise ships. <laughs> um, this was her temporary permit from 68. Just all kinds of little bits and pieces of Madge's life. Oh, now she's a senior, so she gets an exemption from the poll tax. Oh, my God. I'm going to move on. I thought that was cool. So those are all Madge's things in this oh. one envelope. Poor Madge. Yeah, and it smells cool. And this was an envelope that says fall tax, oh, poll taxes from San Diego, Texas. I, that is fascinating. That is fascinating to me. Uh, me too. I could have spent forever going through all that stuff. Oh, I used to do that too, Kylie. Get up, get the kids all together, and then um, go back to bed for a little bit. Indian meeting, 1857. Oh, that's not good handwriting. Something Ceylon. Can you guys read that? Uh, Elliot, Colombo, Ceylon. -M -M -O. It looks like it looks like a yeah. It looks like a um acronym for something. Yeah, observer. Observer. Yeah. Well, and it's got a really old bunch of newspaper in it. Uh, let's see if we can find a date. Doesn't look like it. Cool. First spelling, oh. Janice. That's sad, Janice. Was there a date on here? Janice says Indian meeting 1857 from the Overland to Sally. I don't even know how to say the second word, Janice, but of course Janice knows. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting lost in it. Ann Lar would like number two, please. All right, and let me throw a couple checks in there for you because I haven't gotten to the checks yet. This is what happens, Brooke. You get me too interested in what's happening, and I'm not moderating. Well, I think I'm going really slowly because I keep reading it. <laughs> well, I'm getting all involved in it. You're getting me. You're getting me consumed, and we're not get. We're not getting the the job done. I'm the worst moderator ever. See. All right, just want to give Anne some checks. And Anne said, "Thank you." You're welcome. That's my Muppet voice. You're welcome. All right. we, used watch, we used to watch the Muppets <laughs> when I was a kid. Victoria just bought a whole bunch of um, Muppet DVDs. She loves them. That's fun. All right. You've got all your goodies and no flinch cards. You know what? Uh, my, my favorite Muppets were the old men uh, up in the balcony. Oh, uh, the Hecklers. Those were my favorite when I was a kid. I, like I used to wait for <laughs> because my dad. We used to watch it with my dad. Used to when I used to watch. She Janice says you ask if we want. You ask if we can read it. Then we try and yes, we get involved. <laughs> it's true. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you got involved. Okay, this one's fighting back. I like that you guys get involved. I like that Janice thinks it's self care if you get back in bed after your kid goes to school. Good for you. Or you get your kids ready. Good for Janice. I love that attitude. Um, yes, and the Swedish chef. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kylie said she just moved house. She deserves to 
stay in bed. We deserve to stay in bed because we're mothers, period, if we want to. Screw oh, it. Yeah. There's, <laughs> there is that. <laughs> Mothering is hard. Got any takers on one yet? I don't see so anybody yet, but I'm right. going to go back up and check. I'm going to go back up and check. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, oh, we put some checks in there. Seeing what I missed. <laughs> I like that story. <laughs> so you guys are the hecklers? Yeah, and Pam said Beaker. Oh, Pam, that was Victoria's favorite Beaker. So this is just an empty um, folder, but I love these. These look great in journals. I think you can cool. you could make a journal out of that. Yes, like you could. Little, you know? Yes, you could. I, I, I don't know. It's that. <laughs> Here's some other envelopes from the Marine Corps, Durham, North Carolina. There's something in there. Oh, we got us a handwritten letter. Oh, yeah, the inappropriate lobster was funny. Another letter. Patsy Yeager. Those darn Yeagers. They're everywhere up in here. Yep, oh. there's a letter in there, too. Very fragile. Very fragile. Ooh, selective service. <laughs> Kylie, are you from Australia? <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> if I said my husband went bush all weekend. <laughs> oh, that could have gone wrong. That could have gone off the rails. <laughs> my husband went bush. <laughs> Sorry. I'm <laughs> very immature. Is it your favorite? <laughs> Oh, come on, guys. This is a great pile. $20 for crying out loud. They're real photos. You can't buy Tim Holtz crap for $20. It's <laughs> $20. You go, to, you go to the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar for each crappy item. This is real <laughs> ephemera. Nikki, you'll break it. Well, I'm serious, people. Oh, thanks, Nikki. Oh, wait. Let's throw that in for fun. Okay, Kylie. Okay. <laughs> Nikki G got it. Look at that. It's a ticket, a really, really old ticket to ride. I don't know what it's a ticket for. She's got oh. it. Oh, I can't sing on here. Ticket to ride. That's a cool oh, ticket. Now we're all in trouble. I stopped. <laughs> you can sing so much because I know Popo, I know Popo's over there at Rosemary's playing sing a tune sometimes. I catch when I catch her, she plays the sing a tune song sometimes. So you can play a little bit of music. Uh, Janice would like to know if you could just please read the postcard before you bag that up. The postcard. Which postcard? I think she means the card on top. Oh, it's just random. I love golf. I love swimming. I love jogging. I love hiking. I love camping. I love hugging. I love kissing. I love to sew. I love sewing. I love cooking. I love shopping. I love poodles. I guess she <laughs> extra loves Yorkies, cats, and cops. <laughs> Friends, since I got my microwave, I have more time to misbehave. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's my favorite thing so far. Since I, I got my microwave, I have more time to misbehave. You go, girl. For all the things that I might enjoy in life. He gave me life that I might enjoy all things. And I guess that's oh, that's enjoy. I don't like it. That's nice. pretty cool. Is that funny? Awesome. She sounds like so much fun. She's my kind of girl. Now that is my kind of domestic goddess right there. Yeah, right there. All right. Hey, Carla Frizzell. Frizz in the house. How's it going, Carla? All right. So that one goes to Nikki G. Thank you, Nikki G. Thank you, Nikki. Sweet, sweet Nikki G. All right. So I've got... Oh, let's go giveaway. That'll be fun. How about if we give away a bookhouse book? All right. Now, remember, people, we're giving it away a different way than the other channels, so don't get numbers ready. I love this book. Away. Love the size. Love the Oh, picture. this is so cool. I love this. This is pretty. I love bookhouse books. 
I do. I do. Um, this one was oops, 1920. Oh, bummer, Kylie. All right, you guys. So if you're interested in a book house book. Wait, Pam, retract. Wait, Pam, put take away your me. Pam, Pam I'm going to take it away. Pam, I'm taking it away. Pam, I'm in trouble. Pam, I want to take it away because I want you to. I want you to get a chance. Okay, right. ready? I'm going to put it in, guys. And what we're going to do is, if you would like to have this, just put a me in now, and I'm going to shuffle these cards up again, and we're going to whatever number comes up, um, that is the that number me will be the winner. Yes, that's it. Because Laura and I figured out we probably cannot manage it. <laughs> No, there's no probably. I definitely can't. And she didn't think she can. And so, you know. And then I always screw up and say the wrong person. And I have to say, no, Nina, Nina, you didn't win. And that makes me feel bad. Yeah, it's a whole thing. And nobody's yeah. supposed to be feeling bad about free stuff. All yeah. right. So we decided, I decided to do something new. All right. I shuffled them around. I shuffled them around. All right, Laura, tell me when to stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. All right, guys, ready? Oh, no! <laughs> I got to buy a 12 lottery ticket today. Yeah, you guys, 12, lucky number. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like Pam Perella to me. And yes, that was me using my toes to count. <laughs> I use my toes too. <laughs> you would like touch math. I like touch math. <laughs> is, is it? Um, yeah, <laughs> that's me now. Did you see twelve also, or did you see Pam? I did. I did. I did. Are we right, guys? Can you guys help us? Are we right? Well, that is exciting. She's Town Square, right? Yep. Yeah. She's undercover. Yay! That was fun. Oh, thank you. It's much easier this way. <laughs> I'm all about the easy. Okay. Me too. Simple. That was simple. Simple. All right, you guys, I've got Thank you, Lucy. Thank you for confirming for us. Yes, because we're goofy and you can't go by us. I've got three more bundles, you guys, while base is built. Oh, I scrolled up and now everything's all in an uproar. Yes, congratulations, Pam. That's a great book. Okay, so the bases are 1893. Isn't that a fabulous house picture? Somebody left their house. It looks like it's at the beach. Oh, it is at the beach. And the cute little stamp magazine, the savers book, and the stamps. And then all the, those three things. Quite an earnest young man. Bunch of friends having fun, fun, fun. And this one, I love. It obviously got munched some, but I love the photo. Thanks, Julie. And then this one is old and faded. And Oh, this one's cool. I sure would, my darling, Julie. I would, I would. If you want to send me a message and tell me what you need or would like, I can hook you up. And then proceedings in insolvency. Bummer. 1893. Our magic date. Okay. So we've got little bits. So cute. Yeah, it's like one of those cut aparts. I, I, yeah, I don't get it. Thank you. Excuse me. Ow, I bit my tongue. Man, one wing. Well, two wings, one pair. Oh, look at this. Some stickers, Chinese lanterns, Victorian hearts, slightly used. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. 
It looks like someone was messing around with their printer. Ooh, beautiful paper. A beautiful gift to all companion subscribers. I don't know where that came from, but it looks so familiar. Oh, look, little fat Cupid baby on a shroom. Okay, that's the cutest thing ever. That's worth $20 right there. All right, so there are those. Let's do some interesting ephemera pieces. Um, an invitation to the American Legion Auxiliary. I can never say that. Dedication of the Community Center. Community Builders Banquet. Invitations to the banquet. A program. Roster of the Volunteer Fire Department. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, look at this. That's a fan. I bet it's advertising. Yep. Lumber and hardware. It's the songs you sing and the smiles you wear that make sunshine everywhere. How cute is that? A very old vintage bingo. Oh boy, thanks, Nana. I was wondering why she was so quiet. I thought maybe something was going on at home. You're stuck with me now. All right, so I'm going to put this in. Hold on. Pull it out the keyboard. I'm surrounded by piles. Oh, thanks, Janine. All right, you guys. I got you, Janine. So, um, thanks, Nana. I don't have any of my devices up here, so if she's trying to get a hold of me, I wouldn't be able to hear. <laughs> That's not very good of me, is it? All right, so let's just get this. So the bag. Oh, we're dangerously close to the end of the Ziploc, you guys. Oh, Pam, I'm sorry. Um, Janine already got one. Would you like two instead, Pam? And thank you. Wow, now it seems really quiet without Jersey. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffing, you guys. All right, so we've got this one. Waiting to see if Pam would like this one instead. I don't think we put any checks in there yet. Well, no, we didn't. Wah, rip off. Here are some letters and envelopes. Old paper, 1859. Oh, there's a clipping from 1859, apparently. Don't think I'll try to take it out. A letter from 1886. Wow. And it appears to be written in French. Oh. It appears to be missing some of itself. Application for a date with Pat Yeager. <laughs> Name, something brown, age 17, height 5'8". Weight 145 pounds, blonde, blue, complexion bad. School, AM College. When can I have a date? Anytime. Any place, anytime. Oh my. <laughs> I just refreshed. Um, let's see. This looks like it's going to Pam Perella. Okay then. Congratulations, Pam Perella. Thank you very much. Let's find a bag. I don't think it'll fit in that bag. What do you think? <laughs> I'm entertaining myself. Alrighty. 
Thanks, Pam. Thanks both the Pams, all the Pams. Hi, Vanessa. Yeah, that would take some serious folding. All right, you guys, I've only got one base left, and then we'll just have to um, go free balling. Uh, let's just see. Old design shop. Julie, are you still here? Because I have two inch fabric squares for you, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> that old trick. I really need a new mat for my chair. That's quite a workout. <laughs> Roy. <laughs> Nicole. I did. You were, someone was applying. I don't think it was that Chuck Yeager. Was it? Was it? Nom. Hi, Nom. Was it? Hold on. I got to check you guys. Someone was applying to go on a date for it with him. Was that where we saw Chuck Yeager? Oh, Pat. You got me all confused. Nom, don't confuse me, man. Has Heather been here yet, honey? Has she called? Cool, 87. <laughs> I got all excited. I thought someone was applying for a date with Chuck Yeager. That would have been something. All right, so here's our last base. We have a big one. <laughs> so close. So close. Oh, I love this one. They're reading a book, you guys. How cute is that? I should probably put it in. I hit the wrong buttons. Whoopsie. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think it's that one, Jersey. Okay, thanks, 87. All right, you guys, this is our last one. And it's in. Whoops. Whoopsie. Sorry, Cole. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm absolutely in love with this photo. They look so serious. I know, Nam. You confuse me, too, Mimi. This is from the National Traders Bank, Portland, Maine. 1893. All the stamps of goodness. Your savers book. And this is one of the postcard books from Catalina Island. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, and these were sent, I guess. Oh, look at those. They're great. Well, they're not really, it's uh, souvenir photos. Should I say that? Because they're not postcards. They're photo, you know, they're reproduction photos. They're beautiful. Oh, the photo? I will do that. I shall do this. I'm fighting with the ring light, Nom. All this stuff is so shiny, and this has that metallic sheen on it. I will watch better to see. Man, that's such a lag. Tilt it. Oh, wait. Oh, almost had it. Darn it. Tilt it. Tilting it. There. Okay. Cool. Aren't they adorable? Yep. Love this photo. Love that one. Okay, so this is the last one. This is the base for it. And if you guys are just coming in now, um, when you think this pile is worth $20, say me. And it's a go. Like that. Oh, here's some more cow people, Eileen. 
heavens. I guess cowgirls. Are you going to ask? Am I doing ballet now, Grandma? <laughs> Got too many things to do, Grandma. I can't. I can't name that sitcom uh, Brady Bunch. It's my guess for everything. Never lose your heart. Never little girl lose your heart. Okay. Really? There's something about friends that I didn't know? How disappointing. I love friends. Fun little bits. Ah, the golden girls. Oh, look, she's sassy. We got some sassy chicks in here. We need a shoe. This pile is calling for a shoe. I love them. Very cool. Oh. Huh. This is like on a photo paper. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> Good job, Nicole. Huh. It's an altered book. Looks super cool. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, let's see here. Oh, more airmail. Nothing in it, but super cool envelope. <laughs> that makes me want to go sit in my chair and watch Friends. This is a letter from 1880. And it's that same paper that was in the other one that was kind of falling apart, but two pieces of it are in here. Yeah, it's a spread for an alt altered book. Pretty cool, huh? Filed for record. 1938. Oh, agreeing on reducing monthly payments. That's very nice of them. Really cool stationery. Oh, cool. Let me, let's let Jersey in the room. Stop talking about her. She's tap, tap, tapping at the door. Am I back? You're back. Am I echoing? You don't sound echoey. Okay. How does she sound to you guys? All right. Hello? Hello? Hello. All right. There we go. I'm trying to make it. Oh, it's the lag. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Eileen. All right, not to interrupt. Sorry, go ahead, people. Go ahead and do it there. So, another letter. Super cool stationery. Huh. Well, it's very heavy, very thick, and someone wasted a lot of space. I love this stuff. The stationery is gorgeous. Lots to say. No echo. Yay. Hi, Anita. Did I say hi? I don't think I saw you come in. Oh, I didn't say hi to Anita either. Hi, Anita. Well, it gets crazy sometimes in the chat. It does. Mad Yeager shows up again. Mary Yeager? Who is it? Mad Yeager. She had all the, we had all the voter registration cards and stuff. Who are these Yeagers? They're everywhere. Southwestern chapter of the National Association of Watch and Clock Collectors. I looked up the maker of your clock and have the following Lapine listed, whom I presume is no doubt the one who made your clock. And then a bunch of info. Huh. Look at Nam. Look at him. He's all, look at him all. Ooh, he's all wicked awesome. Boston. <laughs> yep. He got the day off that day because the heat was not agreeing with him. He is a carrot top, a ginger, and has, he's like the whitest person I've ever seen. He's almost invisible. He can hang out with Cole. Yeah, like that. Translucent. Yep. Oh, look on 1975, but look how it's aged. Well, that's kind of a while ago now. Cool. There, let's get some checks. We need checks. We need deposit receipts. Come on, you guys, 20 bucks on this one, and it's the last one. Wait a minute. Nobody bought this as the last one for $20, and nobody bought it yet? I know. It's kind of wacky, huh? Oh. 
People, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, you're here to yell. Money do you give? You people ought to be ashamed of yourself. I wasn't here to, to shame you into this. After all the <laughs> money, well, after all the money that you give out to Tim Holtz, and this woman comes on and does that creepy baby for you, and you're not going to give her twenty dollars. I am. Is the Tim Holtz shame? The Lori shame. B. Lori B. Ah, oh, Lori B. Wants it. But Lori B, you're a doll. She'll put it in a beautiful journal. Thank you, Lori D. And I put in, um, I was, I had this in my hand. It's one of the, um, what is that called? Statements. There we go. I know, I know my words. I know, I know. That's why I'm laughing at him. I know you're, an, I know you're a New England transplant, Nam. That's why I'm making fun of you. It's fun to make fun of him. He takes it well. I know. He's a good boy. Thank you, my Lori. And I scared her. <laughs> yeah, she's starting to scare me a little bit. <laughs> oh, Lori. All right, Brooke, charge me for that, please. <laughs> I'm serious, Brooke. Okay. I'm right here. 87 to Lori B. Thank you. It's from me to Lori B. You got it. Did you hear him? He Roman goes, get in your lane. <laughs> <laughs> what does Susan say? Stay in your lane, brother. Yeah, that's why he, he knows that, because I was just telling him the other day, I was bringing that up, that something, we were talking about something, I go, you know what Popo used to say? She used to say, stay in your lane, bro. <laughs> and it's, it really works for a number of different subjects. Yeah, Margie, Barnum and Bailey, right? Between Absolutely, the yes, Lori, absolutely. Yep. I was going to buy it anyway, but I just didn't know what, what I was going to, Lori, I just can't possibly take in any more stuff. Well, this is kind of a fun bag of just random stuff when you're making journals to pull from. Well, and Lori makes beautiful journals. You know what I mean? Oh, so we have some beautiful, beautiful talented peeps in the house. All right. So I guess <laughs> that's funny, Margie Barnum. Bar T. P. T. Barnum, his original book. Is actually, I have that book. It's a, it's a grungy old book, but the original copy of it was in the attic here. I have it. Wow. Victoria was watching something on the History Channel the other night about Barnum and Bailey. Well, I guess what we're going to do now, guys, is do some of this with no base. Are you okay with that? Anyone have a vote? Voting? Voting. Voting. This is actually not scanned. This, I don't think. Oh, maybe it is. Christmas 2003. I can't figure out what this bag is, you guys. Ooh, this is a photocopy, but it's cool. <laughs> that is cool. There's that piece of um, fabric again. I, I cannot figure out what this is about. I really can't. I don't know, but it's making me remember that I wanted to photocopy fabric, so thank you for that. Uh -huh. um, stickers. Margie, it's all about that face. <laughs> oh my gosh, Victoria did a dance routine to that once. I don't know how many times I heard that song. So how how about those songs that your daughter did dance routines to? Oh, <laughs> yep, all about that face. <laughs> oh my god, that one would be bad. I don't know. It was so fun to watch her dance. It was worth it. Yeah, I loved watching my daughter dance too. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Blushing bride. Thank you. Oh, cheeky woman. I like it. I like it. Um, okay. We need some cool. Oh, I love these. I'll put two of these in. So, Laura, let's go ahead and um, we'll do these for, I don't know, 15 since we don't have the other stuff. And what are we calling them? We're calling them <laughs> another bundle of goodness. A smaller, goodness. smaller bundle of goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Fifteen dollars. Where are you? Doom, doom, doom. Go. I'm, 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 I'm go right. Yeah, go. Is the lady a moo card? Lucy would like to know. Oh, Lori, I'm glad, Lori, because I would never want to scare you. You're such a sweetheart. Is the lady a moo card? Lady, what? The lady, what lady? Yeah, those turn. Can you turn the lady over? 
Is there I don't know. Doesn't look like it, Lucy. This I think is so cute. Snapshots. And look at that. Look at that. How adorable is that? That's so cute. Yeah. Oh, I have to go back over here to see what you're there we go. Got a saver book. Got a stack of postage. That's not quite as many as I put in. But I'll put more in. Grab a paper clip. Hi, Karen Thompson. Hey, Karen Thompson. You've missed the badness. <laughs> All right. And then here is, let's see, there's the postage. I put more in there. Yeah, and I just finished up with my last um, base for bundles. Oh. Yeah, I have to bring a build a bundle. This is 1933 World's Fair. That's cool. That. I love that. I love this. Oh, that is cool. Oh, I got to type something in the chat that has nothing to do with this because it just came to me. And if I don't do it, Romeo will kill me. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Look at the colors, you guys. That is awesome. Do they still make these? I've still got good stuff I, here. I, you know, I wonder if they make them like for, like currently to send postcards in the, I don't know. I bet that Disney and places like that have them. So that's going on the pile. Because Disney will get you coming and going. Hymns advised for all speeding Texas motorists. What? Him? Him. <laughs> Advice for all speeding Texas motorists. What? <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. H Y M N S? Yes. Like, song? Yeah. Oh, Brooke, this is too. Brooke. Our highway traffic is good. so unsafe, the doctor said. South Texas motorists should sing softly and seriously certain hymns while driving. What? <laughs> at 25 miles per hour, I'm but a stranger here. Heaven is my home. At 45 miles an hour, nearer my God to thee. <laughs> what? <laughs> at 55 miles an hour, um, I'm nearing the port and will soon be at home. At 65 miles an hour, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. And at 75 oh miles an hour, I'm coming home. <laughs> okay, that is awesome. It's a newspaper clipping, if you couldn't tell. And then this is History of the Elliots. The notes are taken from the manuscript History of the Elliot family, collected by Dr. John Elliot of Waterford Island, Ireland. Oh, God. I know. Whoa, 1939. Okay. Phone... Oh, my God. His phone number was 163. <laughs> I could memorize that. Hey, hoodie. What's up, girly? This is crazy. Hey, Aaron. This is crazy. Ah, uh, it's super cool. Oops. That's crazy. This is neat, man. Yeah. Janine Bernard says, yeah, I'm going for it. Good for you, Janine. This is Janine, that is a really cool piece. Yeah. That is a cool piece. It's pretty brittle, but it's awesome. Wow. That it, is really neat. It, you see why I couldn't sort this stuff? I mean, how do you sort that? <sighs> I Yeah. This is the only way I could think to do it. Get her name? Okay. Uh no, I'm sorry. I'm, you know what, Brooke? I'm sorry. I, I keep forgetting. I, I, I'm, I'm screwing up with the lag. So if I ask you stuff, just remember that I keep. I, I once I type, I forget to go back over to Streamyard. So sorry about that. Really, it's fine. It really, Laura, it's fine. Alisa, I've never been to San Juan. I've never been there. I'm saying if I haven't been there lately, I've never been there. Period. It'll oh, all be new. brand new when they move in. Alisa, all I know is that he's looking at real estate and he likes it. That's all. Has mom ever been there? What do you mean by quite different these days? I don't know what you mean. Was there? A, he's looking at current real estate, right? Like very currently. I don't know how it could be any different than the current stuff on YouTube. 
I think Elisa meant if you had been there prior, you know, previously. Well, I'm only 40. I mean, I'm, I mean, when would I have been there previously? I'm 40. You were 20. <laughs> I, mean, I'm really, I don't know. Yeah. I haven't really, I don't know. I mean, I appreciate that, but it's not like I had been anywhere like, you know, that much long ago. I'm going to go with the answers. No, she hasn't. Elisa, she's never been there. I've never been there. No. All right, let's. You know he'll move on. The point is he'll move on. He, we, you know, we he keeps moving on to new places. I just keep asking everybody. Uh, but I'm like, hey man, you're not. I'm like, I have access to people who've been places. Uh oh, wait a minute. She oh, said she doesn't know how her me got in. She's preparing supper, so you don't want uh, it. Okay. All right, you guys. So this one, anyone up for this one? So is that a no on that, Jan Janine Bernard? I'm sorry. Oh. I, I saw me. I apologize. I, I saw that too. It was the elves in her kitchen. The kitchen elves typing. Oh, Elisa's well, saying the 90s. She went. Oh, well, in the 90s, I was in middle school. And uh, I wasn't traveling on my own. <laughs> Laura, what did Nam say? Has he ever been there? I don't think he saw my question. Hey, no. That's no. what I was, yeah, that's what I was asking. I do know that, Nana. Yes, I do know that we have to take the ferry, and that part is what I think he likes about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, Janine. Cool. I just erased you. It's not yours anymore. Anybody? Anybody? All right. Well, we need to put some checks in there. Oh, maybe that's why everything looks so nice and shiny brand new, Elisa. <laughs> What had happened? It There's blew up. Several hurricanes. Oh boy. Was he just looking around randomly and that popped out? Oh, he never does anything randomly, Brooke. Well, you know, a rabbit hole could happen. He might have been looking someplace entirely different. He could have been watching YouTube videos about Korean. That street could street. be. That could be. I don't know how he found it, but um he found it and he really loves it. Cool. It looks cool. So we'll see. Oh, Nikki wants it. Cool, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. We won't make Janine have it since the uh, gremlins typed in her me. <laughs> Lucy said she didn't hear about any hurricanes in the San Juans. Yeah, we wow. didn't. Yeah, we had. We thought that was interesting. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I thought that too. I thought that too. Do you mean? Yeah. Uh, well, that's the point because British Columbia probably maybe Brooke because he's he loves British Columbia. It could be that. Maybe. Oh, Elisa, are you thinking of Puerto Rico? San Juan, Puerto Rico? That was, there's a San Juan, Puerto Rico. Am I losing my mind? Oh, is that why Roy said Puerto Rico when I said, said the San Juan Island, Islands? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I am geographically challenged, so. All right, let's start this one, and then I think we should have a comfort break. No, Elisa, she's talking about the San Juans in the Pacific Northwest. Ah, now we've gotten it all put together. Oh, thank you, Roy. I didn't know I needed to do that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, guys. I didn't know I needed to do that. Sorry. Oh, that's so funny. We were just messing with you, Elisa. Sorry. Okay, you guys, I have this really cool former uh, photo album. Index to portraits is still there. Index to portraits. Photographs. Isn't that awesome? That is so cool. It's got this part of the hardware, and then, well, it went away. <laughs> this that is so cool. I know. And I bought it at an auction, and it came this way. So, I don't know. You could put this back together and make a pretty cool sort of deal going on here. Wow. You've got all the boards and everything. That is really cool. Yeah. And this is um, heavy, heavy book board. So that's kind of neat. So we could start this bundle with that. How do you feel about a comfort break, Miss Joyzy? That's fine with me, but what are we calling this? I was going to start another bundle. Okay. Oh, I was just going to call the bundle. Okay. Because I look, do you, does anyone else realize how obsessed I am with what we call these things? Well, <laughs> I love these little knobby things. I don't get it. They're like celluloid. Or maybe China. Oh, huh. I don't know. They feel, feel cool. 
balls. The balls feel cool. <laughs> you got some cool balls. <laughs> I, I went there. Um, so, yeah, we'll come back and we'll build a bundle. Okay. And let me see what time it is. Oh, going on four. All righty then. Do you have a time thing, Laura? None. You know, I have no life except for uh, staying inside because it's, it's a pandemic and I have a, uh, you know, I, that's, I, I just, we've been inside for a year, Brooke. <laughs> I know. Well, and then there's that Cole is probably crossing his legs to get back on the internet. Poor thing. Uh, you know what? No, he's not. He's fine. He All needs right. he has to take a break. You know, here's the deal, Brooke. He's taking a break anyway. So he has to take a break. He only gets so much allotted time. So I told ah. him whatever time that he's off, he can get later. Mm. He's banking well, his time. Very smart. It is. Oh, this would make a great grimoire. Oh, Aaron. Is that how you say that word? Grimoire. Grimoire. How fancy. So fancy. It's a little Frenchish. Mm -hmm. um, it would. Oh yeah, Aaron. <laughs> no, Lucy. <laughs> they they're free, free and clear. <laughs> it never was, Lucy. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh yeah, they've gone, they've gone. They never long. were. I love the troll. <laughs> yep, he's the potty troll. He's the um, credenza troll. He looks quite at home on there. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm going to take five. We'll okay. Get more coffee. Okay. March I'm gonna... to the credenza. Okay, so it's five minutes. What time is it? 3.53. All right, be back in five. All right, you guys, be good. Don't be good. Be naughty. Don't get copyright infringements going on. That's all. Be right back.
Okay. Hey, Al. Is she there? Is she back yet? I don't know. Are you there? She's not there yet. See, I do 5 a.m. I'm 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 up at 5 a.m. now. I still am. Mostly. Not Aaron. Although I have seen Aaron at Mary's uh, a little bit. How are you, my L? She's not my L, but I kind of think of it that way. Don't you all feel like L's your own? Who, me? I scared Margie. <laughs> Good, Margie. That's what you get, you twat waffle. No, I don't really think she's a twat waffle, people. Oh, my gosh. No, I don't. Retract, retract. It's a personal joke between myself and Margie. It's a personal joke. <laughs> we go back. I walk in, I hear Margie, you twat waffle. <laughs> You can't try to be a Aaron. You can't try to be a morning person. You either are or or you aren't. I wasn't when I was a teenager, or even when I was a kid. My best friend will tell you she used when I used to sleep over. She used to hate sleeping over my house because she would wake up early. I am not. I don't. I go back and forth. My sleep schedule is so messed up. I was like that for years. Oh, I was so, I was in somebody's chat. I was in Mary's chat this morning, and I was telling um someone who was really struggling with um insomnia. I went a couple of years when I was really stressed out with um I would I I didn't sleep for three or four nights in a row. It was bad. But you know what? You you get um you get through it. You get through it. That's yeah, annoying, you know. I think Aaron would like to know if that kind of a waffle is on the menu in the IHOP. <laughs> I love you, Aaron Glosser. Aaron. Laura, I had to go and while well, rented doggy needed her ears scratched. Um, so I had to do a drive by and I ran into Nam and he has been to the Pacific Northwest San Juan Islands and he got all beside himself and scrunched up his nose and his eyes bugged out a little bit and said, oh, it's effing beautiful there. Hold on. I have to mute a second because now I have to... Hold on. I got to scream to the other room and tell him. Hold okay. on. All right, you guys. So, yep. We got that cool... Sort of the guts of an album. We've got the Saver book. We've got a couple of vintage... Okay. I had to so, tell him. Oh, good. Is he so excited? Oh, my God. He... Mm, Oh, uh, he's getting me too excited. That's the problem. Because it's uh -oh. Brooke, Google it. All I'm saying is you guys are visiting if we do move there. Awesome. I can't wait to work. I know, Aaron. Santa Graham, their original Western Union blanks from the 30s and 40s. Aren't they adorable? This is one of those souvenir photo books from okay, the White gotta, no, I'm sorry, I gotta put this in. Oh my god, I'm getting so distracted. What is it, what is this one now? It's just another bundle, but we're calling it the uh, bundle of goodness. Yep, the smaller bundle of goodness. <laughs> we're calling it the smaller bundle of goodness. <sighs> just because I don't have any of the bases left, but I have many fabulous things. So, yep, that's that. That's going in there. Um, I have that's you know, I have this giant photo. Someone drew eyelashes on her. It's a giant baby. That's a great idea. We're gonna put the big baby in there. And what else do we have? We've got more correspondence, of course we do. Ooh, look how cool that's very fancy, embossed stationary. Ooh, that's hard handwriting. I'm gonna guess this person is European. It's not it's written in English, but A oh, Dennis, that's a good idea. This is the recipe for antiqued plastic flowers. It involves turpentine. Where's Rosemary when we need her? In wait, antiqued plastic flowers? Yeah, I guess it was somewhere cool. wrapped. Now that is really cool. <laughs> no, I mean, Janice, this is like she's been defaced. <laughs> defaced? <laughs> Who is that word? I love you. <laughs> Vandalism. Um, this I found several piles of. 
it's an inventory of someone's silver collection that they have had in a lockbox someplace in Ireland. All right, when is that antique plastic flowers thing from? Like, like Who knows? someone wrote it down. Two cups of turpentine, four tablespoons of gold powder, the fleck kind available at art supply stores, one cup each of two kinds of varnish stain, example, light oak stain and dark oak stain, but walnut, mahogany, or pine can be used. Dip flowers into a gallon pot container containing the solution. Hang them out up outdoors to drip dry, an overnight process. Amazing. Nothing is new in art, people. Just this yeah. is a prime example. I'm just saying, prime example right here. That sounds like it might end up terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elle, hurry back, hurry back. Okay, so there's that list, part of the list. It was in several sections of this somebody. Is neat stuff. Yeah, a fish scoop. <coughs> I've been to some fancy meals. I don't know what a fish scoop is. Serving? I don't know. I don't know. Um, this is, I don't know, list of personal property. Horses and mules, cattle. Grand total of all property. This was 1937. Oh, we didn't put any, um, we did not put any of our little scrappy goodness in there. Gotta have some scrappy goodness. Hello. <laughs> I have a mustache and I'm proud of it. Oh, more art chick stuff. Reduced, apparently. The ones who kept the moon company feeding him when he's too thin and watching his diet when he's too full. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, Elle's back. All right. All's well with the world. How you doing, my friend? More little photocopies of things. I, I can't figure this one out at all. All in one Ziploc. Oh, 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 really? Yeah. All the, um, like, Scrappy stuff. Wonder, I just wonder. I don't I know. know. And all of this being in one suitcase, what a strange. This, you know what this would be? This would be what happens to my stuff. I guess this <laughs> be my stuff would be. Like collecting full suitcases now. Yeah, this would be it. This would be it. <laughs> this would be my kids. She <laughs> said, oh, Janice Klein says silverfish. I'm not even reading that. I, I just don't think those two words should be in this. I don't even think, I just, you know what? I don't care if it's dang fancy, Janice. Those three words should not be read together. Ew. Dang fancy. No, pretty dang fancy. You can read that together. But the three words that you typed before oh. that, <laughs> ew. This, if you, I'm not reading it out loud. It's gross. At least you didn't say silver moist. No. Scoop. No. I know. <laughs> Right. Um, okay, so this is an <sighs> old business card from somebody in Galveston. Arizona's great meteorite crater. Nothing in it, but look how cool this little envelope is. That That's is fun. really cool. That's different. It's fun. I like that. Peggy would make a pocket out of that. <gasps> Where is my pocket? No, 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 let me find her. I was thinking about her, but I wasn't. I, I wasn't sure where she was. This is a photo service envelope from the Navy Exchange. Nothing in it, but it's a cool little bag. Caution. Caution. People, caution. <laughs> oh, oh, some more of the inventory, maybe. You know yep. what? Because it was a fancy serving spoon type of thing, Jan. You know what, Janice? Fancy people. Oh. Too. <laughs> yeah, look at this. List of silver in box in Bank of Ireland. Silver spoons. Large teaspoons, small teaspoons, tablespoons, small tablespoons, dessert spoons, gravy spoons, soup ladles, soup spoons, salad helpers, tongs, <laughs> egg spoons, mustard spoons, salt spoons, odd dessert spoons, sugar tongs, something, uh, pickle fork, or pickle, yeah, pickle fork, olive forks. A sugar or something. I'm assuming tongs. Wow, this is cool. Oh, this is even worse, Laura. Marrow scoops. Ew! 
we were l it's the coolest thing to serve silverfish with is a spear. <laughs> disgusting so this is from 1912 dining room valuation of property of the late m dito miss m dito wow she had some crap guys this is super cool 1912 all right so that's going there awesome uh let's see what Fifteen dollars yeah, he's laughing he's walking through when i just said 15 dollars <laughs> okay super cool old christmas card well l of course l if they didn't make more spoons and scoops they couldn't spend their money on them the fancy people they have to keep spending their money. they have to spend their fancy money on fancy things just scoot them on their way good plan l be gone be gone all right, some of the checks. Got to have some checks. Got to have some letters. I remember, Nana, I played that game with the kids when I was little. When my Oh, I love that game. Hi, Katie. <laughs> Wait, which game? I missed it. The Oregon Trail game, because Elle's working on Oregon Trail with the kids. She went to get coffee dyed paper. Oh, you're such a good teacher's assistant. This is another super cool air. I know, right, Elle? She said, great pack at a great price. It's an unbelievable price. It's $15. Come on, you guys. You're killing me here. Karen said it's sold. Oh, it is sold. Karen okay. says back off, man. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Town, I, it is not from Karen. I'm sorry. I, I'm going on and on looking at the chat. And then I got I got too involved in the, uh, Sorry. No, uh, Pam bought it at Town Square Studio. Thank you, Karen. I got too involved in the scoops. See, I get too involved in the, in the, in the stuff. Well, I'm, the scoops were fascinating. We got Japan, and you got some extra stuff in there that way. Yeah, Pam. Win-win. Uh, you got some extra stuff. Thank you, Karen Thompson. And thank you, Aaron Klostner, right below Karen Thompson for help. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Get in there. And handmade by Kate Keo Party is here. My hand am handmade. I saw Katie sneak in. Yeah, you got a pretty good deal here. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. And Pam, I think we're going to have to go um, because these are going to be a pound because you've got a couple of them. I'll have to go with a flat rate box so I can put the altered baby in there for you. She has the cutest hair ever. Get in there. Get in there. Very nice. All right. So we'll just make this all one. There we go. That was cool. All right. Let me make a note. I'm going to go move it over to your pile right now um, because I'll forget all what goes in it. That's it for you, Pam. You're done. Stick a fork in you. <sighs> all right. I'm just going to run over and put that where it needs to go so it doesn't confuse okay. me. Well, you do that. And thank you, Pam. And thank you for your patience with me, Pam, when I didn't see your me because I was obsessed with the... Uh, the uh, that was kind of fascinating. The, the scoops. Brooke, Brooke knows me. She doesn't mind that. I, she, she accepted my offer. I offered to mod and she accepted it and she knew what she was accepting when she accepted the offer. I thought it was incredibly generous of you. I'm trying to put the so you can see it. And no, it's not generous. It's just that, you know. No, Al, don't you dare. <laughs> no stopping yakking. You have been who? Pam's trying to tell us something about show. Who? She's been, okay. I was trying to say I have been who. Okay, go ahead. We're waiting, Pam, on pins and needles. <laughs> Look at Margie. Oh, oh, Margie, always. you'd like to blame Brooke. Go ahead, blame Brooke. Always blame Brooke. It's best that way. All right, let's put this where it goes. I figure out where that is. I'm getting closed in and piles, guys. Looking, I'm looking. Uh, 
I'm looking, I'm looking. That counts as well. Good. That works. Am I in the right place? I am. Yes, I am. All right, you guys. We're getting down to it. I think. Well, good for you, L. Talk away. Go, L. Go, my L. All right. We're going to do another big one. I don't have the base, but I've got lots of stuff. So <laughs> is calling me the IHOP menu mod. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's calling me a you know what. <laughs> and now Nam is speaking only in <laughs> particle sentences. What's going on, everyone? He's calling himself Yusef. I, Yusef. <laughs> I don't think I can change at this late date. All right, you guys. So we got a bunch of San Diego bank checks. Ooh, look at that one. That one's different. These are all from the 30s and 40s. That I used to live in Colorado. <laughs> oh, that's not even close, Nom. Um, air letter <laughs> mail or uh, air mail. Letter. All right, here we go, guys. Smaller goodie bundles of awesomeness. Yep. Fifteen dollars. Dollar Roonies. Just a cute little envelope. 1951, but look how cool it is. It's came <laughs> from Ireland. Wonder if they were mailing silver back and forth. Oh. Ireland? Hmm. Belle has just come home from Singapore. Wow, Singapore. Yeah. Cool. Brooke, you have such cool stuff there. I lucked out in that suitcase um, because it th that's all the stuff that yeah. you know. Say something about lucking out in the 95 degree heat. I don't know about luck. Oh my God. I was never that hot in my whole life. Yeah. I think you worked for it, girl. You guys drove across the country. I mean, Texas isn't like exactly next door. You worked for this. It was fun. That was, ah, uh, that was so much fun. Um, this is from or addressed to his honor, the mayor, San Diego, Texas. Fancy. Oh, this might be the letter. Nope. Dear Madge. Oh, we got Madge back up. Oh, Madge. Madge. Special delivery for <laughs> Shirley Fontaine. <laughs> but only half of it. <laughs> no, I'm not hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> this time. <laughs> oh, this time. Oh, my mom. He's too funny. All right. And there's a Savers book. And there's a cool Parisian postcard filled out. Grand Maine that was to come not out of the suitcase. That's cool. And then let's see here. What's we got over here? We'll get another Santa Graham. Candy Graham from Mongo. So we've got a New Year's greetings, telegram, holiday greetings, and a Santagram. And what else? Uh, I had something else that was hiding from me over here. I don't know where. And then just miscellaneous cool stuff. <laughs> Look, Aaron said, I'll be right back. Don't be too funny while I'm gone. <laughs> and even me. We've got some pages out of someone's Bible with some writing on it. Oh, look. It's a little journal page. Cool. Oh, that's adorable. Isn't that cool? I can't figure out what it says because it's pencil and it's really light. But it's pretty cool. Kansu Tibetan border news. What? Okay. Tibetan border news? Yeah. It what looks is like that? It's a mission. It's like something. Uh, from, it's from Tibet? Yeah, from a, um, a mission. Christian and Missionary Alliance, 1934. It's like their little newsletter. Wow. wow. That's rare, I bet. Different, right? Yeah. Um, and then we have a funeral announcement. That's sad. And we need some of our little bits here. 
We've got bits. We've got bits. So many bits. Yeah, like a little baby flip journal, Nana. Aww. Those are cute. You Christian missionaries is a CMA. Is that what a CMA? Is? What's a CMA? Did you Christian say something? And Missionary Alliance. Oh, okay. There you go. CMA. That's what Elsa. That's what her in-laws are. Oh. I think that, I think that's what my friend um in college her dad was that they like moved to Africa and stuff. That's handmade paper in that bag of bits. This kind of bits. I know jewels, right? Look at this. Look how cool that is. Neat. It's all fuzzy wuzzy. Yeah, that's I, some figurative stuff. I just don't get I don't get it. I don't get what this was about. I love only you. And it's that guy with we saw him. The original of that was somewhere. Yeah, the little oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You guys could this wait, uh Lucy, are you still here? Kibbles and bits and bits and bits. Welcome back, Aaron. I'm almost wondering if this bag of stuff came from um, the Art Chicks studio woman that Lucy knows. Because we saw the original of this photo. We already dispersed it. Who Who is Art Chicks studio? Um, she did early, early digital stuff. Oh, Lucy, yeah. Could that be it? Yes, the secret, Elisa said the CMA also can mean the Christian music, Country Music Awards. Yeah, or Christian Music Awards. It's such a handy moniker. <laughs> That's all I can think of. Moniker. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, another. Oh, look at that. That has actual flower petals in it, handmade. Highly, highly Fisher. I, Lucy, is that, are you saying, oh, maybe it could be? That's all I can think of. I don't know. I like Dead. the name Art Chicks, though. I mean, anybody with the name Chick, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I like, I'm, I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm a chick. C-H-I-X. Oh, I like that even better. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. That's pretty righteous. We're getting to the end of the bag, too. I know, Lucy, right? Hello, Strauss. I don't think it's hello. I think you told this before and I forget. I don't think her name was hello. Could be. I don't think they're funny, Aaron. I think I, I get excited when uh, I get excited when other people in the art community use them because I don't always hear them using them. <laughs> oh, more very brittle inventory. Egg cups, a decanter, a small dish. Helga. Oh, Helga makes a lot more sense. Huh. Interesting. I, there's no way to know who owned this or where it came from. So these are just random like <laughs> invitations and oh, so cool. You are cordially invited. <clears throat> she had a zine. That, she was like the original zine chicks. <gasps> Grand opening party. Dixie's Health Food Cottage. Look at the colors. <gasps> Wow, printed in green, fancy stuff. Okay, what else we got? Uh, looking in this. Uh, we got Elisa for this one. Elisa, nice choice. Awesome. Great. Elisa, great holdout, man. You held out and you got a winner. Congratulations. <laughs> you were cordially invited to a great stack of stuff. Great stack of stuff. Yep. Cool. Thanks, Elisa. Ooh, you won your wings. As opposed to <laughs> as opposed to Lori B, who was rudely invited. <laughs> That's right. Lori B got rudely invited. But then, you know. <laughs> it happens. What are you going to do, Lori B? What are you going to do? We're used to it. I love how Aaron thinks I'm laughing at the big word. Aaron, I haven't. Please, Aaron, don't make my ego come out. Please don't make my ego come out on Brooks' channel. Please, I don't need okay. it. I've been okay. doing. Too much, I've been too much. Been doing too much meditation for my ego to be coming out. I thought. Um, I thought Skippy or whoever is. I don't know. My brother's evil carnation is Skippy. <laughs> wait, your brother has. Wait, 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 wait. His alter ego is what? Skippy. 
Skippy. No, my alter ego is Frank. No, just be, any kind of ego would be like, you know, I have a degree. Blah, 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 blah. I don't need that shit. Oh, oh sorry. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. And yes, Elisa. And uh, you got your Laura. wings. Laura can use some large. No, ass. it's unnecessary. Here we go. No, that's ego. Moving on. Lori B's right, giggling. Moving on. It's unnecessary, Elizabeth. I don't do it on purpose. I do not do it on purpose. It's only because I've been reading. It's only because I've been reading. It's Skippy's a great name. <laughs> it's not good when Skippy comes out. No. Skippy should meet Frank. <laughs> <laughs> no. I miss my brother. He's having a terrible time with the pandemic. It's making him very sad. Oh, I'm sorry, Brooke. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, girl, Ann. Oh, Anne's in the house. Hi, you. Better late than never. That's right. Aaron understands what I'm saying. Thank you, Aaron. You you dig. So this was uh, more of the telegrams, obviously. Cool receipts. One day at a time. Always good to know. Oh, Anne, I hope that you are okay with my answer to your email. I hope you it made sense for you. Oh, Something London. Secretary acknowledges the receipt of your letter of 12940, which has been forwarded to the Central Medical War Committee in London. Whoa. Peekaboo. <laughs> uh, insurance binder. A little munched, but super cool paper. Very cool. Wait, now hold on. Are we putting another one in here? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm no, I'm making sure I'm typing in the right thing. I'm trying to be, I'm trying not to be like an IHOP lady over here for a second. <laughs> not okay, good. I'm glad. Thank you. I put the same name in. Okay. Get out of town. Some very, very old labels. I love these. A very old tobacco label, tobacco can label. Oh, this is tobacco can too. I don't uh, know. Are cool. Those are very cool. I love labels. I do too. A thing. Mm, that's a cool one too. Very old sticker. I think it still sticks. For the Lions International. Ooh, another passenger line. Ooh. Memorandum of log. Oh, it's actually written on. Huh. 3,350 miles. That's kind of cool. Advertising card? Yeah, it looks like it was. It's kind of silly. <laughs> okay, people, I didn't put the word vintage in here, but can we all just re realize this stuff is all vintage? Uh, please, it goes without saying here. Newly inspired contour mold molded luggage ensemble. I don't know, Aaron. This is all perfect for that, right? I know. And I do too. I love old labels. Um, okay, so we've got all that coolness. We'll put in some of the art chicks coolness. Love's offering. Sweet. Those okay. are such cool suitcases, man. <laughs> I know. I love that ad. Very 50s. Another piece of beautiful handmade paper. This one too, it's like made out of, well, uh, it's made out of trees. Did you? Janice, you had a, a um, suitcase sculpture, uh, but it's like really textural bamboo or something in there. I don't know why it's cool. All right, so we've got those guys. Anne would like this, please. I'm sorry, who would? Anne Lar. Anne, you got it. Hours of fun to be had right there. Those are some cool labels, man. Yeah, those labels. Very labels. cool and very, yeah. very cool. Labels have gotten so expensive. Man, you go on Etsy for the... Well, whatever, people. Just go over to Etsy and price any of this right now, man. You guys will see what... <laughs> They're very, very collectible. All right, Ms. Ann L. Thank you, Ann. Thank you, all of you. So now my question is, I've got to be done by five if we're going to do Creepy Baby. <laughs> and I don't blame, and I don't blame you. That would have sold me too. I honestly, I only actually personally, I only have like 
a couple labels and I, I actually got them from Brooke myself. Oh, you got those Poland Springs. Those yes, I do, baby. And you yeah. know I hoard them. <laughs> I actually have stuff to make some label bundles someday. You know how it goes someday. someday. Oh, so. and don't worry, I'll be holding out for those then. When you told me you have that. See, people, this is what I do. When Brooke says she's going to do something someday and you really want it, hold it in your mind. And you know one day she'll do that label bundle and one day I'll buy it. <laughs> I have enough to make several bundles, but um, this is really good because I'm cleaning out some space. Right. So, That's, yep. Yeah. Uh, and I'm hoping it's going to get start warming up so I can get out there and do some more straightening in the garage without freezing to death. All right. You got one answer. You got Lori B says, yay, creepy baby. Creepy baby. So stick them. Yes. Your green bean labels, Janice, stick them in a suitcase. Um, so would you like to put together a few more of these bundles, you guys, or should we do a recap of what's left from the last couple of days? God, my hands look terrible. What the heck? We need votes. They do not. Every time I crash into something, I get a mark. Old lady marks. Stop. You know, people, <laughs> I wish we were on StreamYard with me more often because I tell you, I would tell all of you people who sit there and criticize yourselves to cut the crap. Um, Lee Fisher would like a recap. All righty. Thompson would like a what's left. Okay. Uh, and I know, poor Elaine, are you still here? Because poor Elaine, I blocked her. She now wants a recap. All right, then. It's going to take me a minute to dig around. Hold on. Yeah, because she has, quote, old lady marks. All what the, I know, what the heck, man? I, you know what I call it, man? Heck yeah, man. I, I don't care. I'm not. Brooke, I fought for every scar. I'm proud of it. You know what it is? Is there mystery marks? Like, I don't even know. They disappear. I don't care that, yeah. you know, as long as, as long as you don't have some kind of disease, who cares? Rock it. You have beautiful hands. I totally agree. Nana says you have beautiful hands. I agree, Nana. And she's just a beautiful human and she's beautiful inside and out. Oh. She's a beautiful face. She's a beautiful person. Uh, Elaine says she's still here. Okay, Elaine. Good. Cause we're going to do a recap. First, I want to put this in your noggins and have you think about it. Okay. This is, um, this is a really special box. It doesn't look that special. Oh, <laughs> it's a cardboard box, Brooke. <laughs> yep. Oh, with some bits in it. However, Here we go. We're going to talk about a cardboard box selling. <laughs> yep. I'm selling all the cardboard boxes and used Ziplocs that I can get my hands on. Hey, Timmy um, does. What? Timmy sells cardboard boxes. People buy them. Timmy could sell his old Q-tips and people would buy them. <laughs> it's Timmy. All right. So this is a box I bought quite some time ago, not round top, uh, but it was probably longer than that. And I have been looking at it and I had a very specific idea what I was going to do with it. And I am at the point where I'm moving on. Let's move along, people. Move along. <laughs> so I'm going to sell it. It is a collection of poetry. Oh. Uh, wow. Written by one woman, and some of it she typed up. A look at that onion skin hole. But there are also pieces of paper where she just scribbled it wherever. Um, just scribbled, 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 scribbled bits, scribbled bits, scribbled bits, scribbled bits. Um, I know, Aaron, right? If you put them in a cute tin, you know people would line up to buy them. There's a ton of stuff here, you guys. Um, yep, handwritten stuff, and then some of it got typed up. And this is all of her poetry in one place. This is... She lived in Massachusetts. Oh, yep. Piece of hotel stationery. Wrote a poem on the back. Um, I have not gone through all of it for a long time, but at any rate, um, this is pretty fabulous. Some newspaper clippings, all kinds of stuff. Um, Margie's laughing at me. So I'm at the point where I don't know if I'm going to make the project I was going to make. I was going to make a, a journal with all this stuff in it because it feels like it should stay together. So. If someone is interested in me putting this up for sale, I will. But I got to tell you, it, I paid a lot of money for it. So that is my long story. So put that 
in your noggins and think about it and tell me what you think. So now I will go back. Oh, look, just one little strip with Christmas greeting. Nice. Okay, so that's that. And now I'll grab some of the stuff that we have left. Grabbing. Hey, Kathy's here! Kathy's world! We got some questions on who the poet is, what the poet's name it's is. It's not a famous poet. Hold on. I will look and see. I don't remember, honestly. I do love you, Aaron. You know I love you. And um, and what it would sell for, Kathy's World would like to know. Uh, I would have to start at auction at 150. One of my favorite things ever. Vintage gift wrap is coming up. Oh, this is great. Uh, let's see. Kathy said you brought her out of lurking with that. I know it's gorgeous, huh, Kathy? I love it. Brooke, that is an amazing piece to have. I, I know. And I, I feel guilty when I look at it because I'm not making the project with it. No guilt. You know what? It'll you know what? You'll just hold on to it until somebody has it who wants it, you know? I'm not finding her name. And by the way, if you're on the replay and there's something you're interested in and you see something, um, you can just make sure you just check uh, email Brooke or Etsy message her and uh, contact her. Absolutely. There's not much. To, well, there's almost nothing left from today. I'm scooting around finding stuff. No, but I mean, just, you know, in general, if they, you know, you have lots of stuff. I think it's just putting it out there. You have stuff available. You do sell things and, you know, in case they see this and. There. You do have a business called Recreations by Brooke. These are funny. We had these ones before, and I haven't pulled them out this time. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, wait, no. Maybe not. Oh. Hold on. Aaron, Aaron's, doing, Aaron's doing it right. Thank you, Aaron. She's going to put in the email. Maybe not. She was. Maybe not. It should be down below. Oh, okay, cool. The box. You're professional. People were dealing with the professional. <laughs> All right. So let's see. <clears throat> Got you for three, CB. This is this really fun book. Where's the Where's the lid to the book, Laura? Lid to the book? I don't know. Oh, it's this book. The Wonderful oh. World of Toys, Games, and oh Love. God, I know. Oh, what a cool book! It's super cool. It's like from all different catalogs. And so this is um, still in copyright. So, oh, so you just. See, but what I don't. Toys and games book packs. Yes. And it's a Montgomery Ward, Marshall Field, um, FAO Schwartz was in here. Super cool. And so I still have some of this. It's 10 pages for $3. Hmm. My heat tool did work. It's just how do you hold it, L, and pull at the same time? <laughs> Not that coordinated. There we go. Thank you. Aaron, that reminded me of my mom. She used to tell my brother, where's your lid for a shirt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome, you guys. Thank you. That was the popular vote was to take. I got your phrase. I got phrase for two and... Julie Everidge Spider Hunter for one. Uh, it was the common vote was to take it apart instead of selling the whole book. Cool, thanks. All righty, I still have a couple of these. I found I know, Carla, Carla Frizzell, you want two more or did you want just two? I don't know if she wants two more again. Or oh, she, yeah. might hit, she might have hit enter accidentally. She might have thought we were ignoring her because we're asshats. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am. I just like saying it. I love that. But I am an ass act, so. <laughs> it's my specialty. Keep it instead of put it away. Eh? Keep keep it instead of put it away. Keep what okay. instead of put what away? Just two. Okay. Cool. Gotcha. 
Okay. Um, I found two of these that escaped in my car. Um, these are those hundred year old spindles. There's uh, satin silk wow. spools. Spin it out okay. right. Silk spools. Okay. Wow. So it's an antique. It is an antique and they came from a textile mill near here. And I've been looking for them forever. Um, the spools, because I wanted them for civet rolls. Because one of these days I'm going to go and sit in my chair and just slow stitch all day. Um, and they're expensive and you could buy like one or two and it was just a pain. Some of them were bigger. I wanted this size. So finally, I looked again on eBay and, you know, it's page after page after page of matches. So this was exactly the one I wanted. I clicked on it. The guy lives 20 minutes, not even 20 minutes from me. Cool. What are the odds? <laughs> no. Not numb. <laughs> <laughs> Cue Janice Lines describing why it's called a lid. Because she did someplace the other day. Nom. Nom. <laughs> All right. What's the price? Okay. So what I did was I took uh, strips of either an old white tablecloth or muslin, 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 <laughs> and uh, wrapped it around. It's between 28 and 36 inches, depending on, depending on how wide the fabric was. And they are $14. How much? 14, please. I'm sorry. 14. How many you have? Well, the thing is, I can get more. Um, oh, the gentleman okay. has more. I've used up my supply. I'm going to have to go get more if I want some for me. <laughs> oh. All righty. And with like one. I should put it this way. You really can't see it. They're awesome. I was so excited. They're really cool. I Yeah. And you know what? Biddleston, um, she did a mandala on the top of one of those. Really? She can yeah. mandala anything. She can mandala literally anything. Aaron would like two. <laughs> I know. Did you see Nam? Did you see it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> then I heard, then I saw Kathy. All right. So I, um, what did Kathy say? <laughs> Kathy said, I swear I heard effing dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going off the rails. Okay. So I'm for one. I've got my grandma for one. I've got hoodie for two. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a sip of my drink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In our hilarity, did we miss you guys? Everybody get yeah. their order. Lori B, did you see me? She said. Did you see I Lori B? Grandma, you're right there, Grandma. See, this is why my um, pencils get dull because I push so hard. Aaron! <laughs> Aaron! Knock it off. Aaron and Numb are nice. I cannot mod for you with the two of them in the chat. <laughs> Thank God Jean and Peggy are not both here. I would be in big trouble with the four of them. In there. <laughs> All four together, I mean. <laughs> That's out there even for me, Kathy. I mean, sometimes it happens. Oh, but, you know. All right. So those are the spools. Um, <laughs> we have the fabric, the mystery fabric. Um, so I bought this fabric from a lady in Canada, and she swore it was antique cotton. Um, it was never <laughs> washed, and it is quite possibly reproductions of um, 30s cotton because it's awfully crisp, um, but it's also super cool. Someone was trying to cut it into two-inch squares, and they got a little crazy. But you get 20 inches squares and all these beautiful patterns, and they're two inches, allegedly, two by two. <laughs> Peggy is the worst and the best. Uh, we got All I got to say is they already, our point is Elizabeth was, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, no, we made L say, oh, dear. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh no. So I think the patterns are so beautiful. Cool. I love this. So is this a little kit right here that you're put together? Yep, it's 20 pieces. Oh this is great. and then I also got a bunch of vintage yo-yos. And this really is vintage. This mm -hmm. uh, it's really nice. 
uh, quilting fabric though, but I don't think it's, I think it's a reproduction. And a yo-yo. Oh no, Everybody no. Dance. Everybody dance party. That was my kid, sorry. She doesn't know. <laughs> think can I get online yet? Um, so that they each come with a I mean, That was my other kid. She's calling. Well, me, oh, you need to take that. No, she's fine. Uh, hold on one second. Let me just text her real quick. All right. He said, did you effing, did you F but, F, did you F you button me? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't either. <laughs> Something. <laughs> I don't even know what that. Is. Oh my God, Kaylee Elizabeth. Aaron, what are we sl slapping on carpet tape? What does that mean, Kaylee? And Nam is saying three point eight seven to four point one four square inches. What? Um. Uh, did somebody slip me a Mickey? Because everything's getting real confusing up in here. I know, right? I feel the same way. What's going on? <laughs> oh, okay. No, Aaron's saying put that on the carpet tape and you have yourself some. Um, uh, okay, here we go. Yeah. So what are we? Um, okay. Sorry. I just had to text my kid. 20 uh, fabric squares. Uh, yes. 20 fabric squares with a little vintage yo-yo. And those are $5. And I've got tons. There we go, yo-yo. I'm a yo-yo man. Yo-yos, five bucks. Oh, this is a beautiful deal, people. Hold on, five dollars. And let me just put in the go. Everybody, settle down. There's plenty. Get in line. <laughs> I know, double oh seven. It doesn't take long, huh? And then all of a sudden, I felt like I was totally stoned, <laughs> and everyone was making sense, and I just couldn't make sense of it. But that wasn't true. Everyone else is stoned. You guys are high. I'm, I'm not. I'm doing the sale. <laughs> okay. We have that for later, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She's almost done. I figured, what the hell? <laughs> so I've got Kathy. I've got Ms. Natalie. I have Dar. Oh my God, Nom. The area of my bits. What? <laughs> no. He's killing me. Between Nam and Aaron, I can't help myself. Those two are in goats. Always. I got you, Lee. Thank you very much, you guys. Yes, Absolutely. Great That's right. They will make great backgrounds or twinchies. Totally. I will and warn you that they're right. not exactly two by two. Somebody got a little wacko. <laughs> Okay, so that that's that. Then let me put these where they go. Oh, uh, um, Kristen wants to know if they will make a a yo-yo, the little pieces of fabric. Depends on how much patient patience you have, Chris. You could make a really tiny yo-yo, but it would be fiddly. I wouldn't. It would make me lose it. <laughs> but um, I know Angie Brown. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are making me feel like I am. I'm laughing so hard. This is great. Brooke, I want to do this more often. This is fun. For, for Big Handsome, it's purely medic medicinal. Well, I know that. That And you know what, Elizabeth? I'm glad to hear that he's hopefully he's getting some relief. Yeah, anyway, that poor man can get relief. I, I, I said that to Elizabeth for swear. That man, it's been years. Years. Yeah, yeah it's horrible. Literal years. Literal years. Okay. Oh, they look really, they look fun. I've never done one myself, Natalie Randall. Hello. I didn't even see you come in, sweetheart. Um, I think, you know, the bottom line is uh, anything that can give you relief if you're in any kind of severe pain over time. God bless you. Um, she, two by two pieces of art. Yeah, the Twinchies, they look really cool. Check them out, Natalie. Look them up. It's they're inches that are one inch squares and twinchies are two inch squares, Natalie. And um, some people do them with paper, but you can do them with fabric. Oh, L, how did it go? Holding you guys to the light. This yeah. I'm extremely happy with. This is 
Oh, then don't. Yeah, then no, they will not make yo-yos. <laughs> Chris, too small. Um, this is beautiful Persian wool for uh, tap oh. wool for stitching. That's why I was hoping that Pam was still here. Did you, Lucy? Fabric or paper? So what's it called, this stuff? Persian wool? Yep, Persian tapestry wool. Okay. I got a giant bag of it um, because the company went belly up. Sorry for them. Hey, yay for you. Yeah, well, yay for everybody because each of these little skeins is uh, 11 yards, give or take. Okay. And I think what I'll do, I was selling them by the color yesterday, but I think what I'll do is do rainbow bundles. So you'll get a pink and a purple. You'll get some greens. And can you see how many different colors are in there? Yeah. So you're going to sell them as like a whole thing? Yeah, because the thing is you can buy tapestry wool lots of places. Uh, okay. But buying them in a rainbow, it's hard to find. So you end up with, okay, great. You get, you end up with 11 yards of one color. Well, okay. And then what the hell do we do with it? Yeah, yeah. You have to yeah. figure it out. Sure. Right. So I'm going to do, so this is an 11 yard bundle. I'm going to do um, a rainbow pack, which will also include some neutrals. I just don't have them out here. Um, so you can get a rainbow of these. It'll be 33 yards of all the colors. Okay. And it will be $15. Okay. Let me just put that in. A lot better for slow stitching than having to buy. For sure. A thousand yards of one color. And then it's like, really? And you know, I'm all about the rainbow. I know you are. And the colors are just delicious. Here it is. Go. <laughs> it is, isn't it, Al? And I have plenty. You can have as much as you want. Oh, yes. Go check out Nicole at Relaxed Duck. Cut oh. blue, Natalie, if you're looking for Twinchies. Look yeah. at Aaron shopping. I love it. Go, Aaron. Awesome. Pearl Ann says, Will, it's a wool rainbow. It is a wool rain rainbow. Ann, would you like a wool rainbow? Or is no, it just an Kristen says she would like one. I got you, Chris. Good for you, Hoodie. You deserve some rainbow. Hey, in your man, I'd love to see Aaron getting herself a little something, something. Ah, uh, Janice, thanks for coming. You're always so much fun. Bye, Janice. Oh, Pearl Ann says, yes, she would like one. All righty. Thank you, Ann. The Julie. Julie, where is Alora? So that's awesome. Thanks, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. All righty. So, Very nice. Love it. We, that, that's, we, we good on the wall? Anybody else? I'll let you know if anybody else comes in. Thank you. And I do have, I have tons of it. All so right. you know. So that's what I'm talking about. If people see the replay. Yeah. That's, oh, she's getting her shot. Yay. Oh, good. Ouchie, ouchie. <laughs> mm. um, yeah. I, I couldn't resist. I bought pretty much all they had because I, the company was going under and it was so cool. Oh, wonderful. Aaron. Oops. She's a thousand subscribers. She's five away. Oh goodness, you guys! Please, Aaron, hold on. I have another. I have another channel still. I haven't. You don't use it, but I'll go. I'll get you. We'll get you there, Aaron. Well, if I have to make Romeo, if I have to make Romeo open a YouTube account tonight, Aaron. You will have a thousand by tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, you better tell hoodie. Uh, hoodie, tell Nam to use all of his aliases. <laughs> that could put you over the top right now. We'll get you there by tomorrow. Um, Laura, when you're done with that, do you mind putting oh, Aaron's yeah, got on? It. I'm good. What do we have? The vintage wallpaper. What was the price? Oh, this is the vintage wallpaper. It's $7 for the bundle. Okay. And Seven. these are 10 by 10 squares. I got a lot of this from Gina at the Rebookery. Re oh, I love that. Oh, that's why it's familiar. I'm like, I have this. I, 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 I didn't think you, I bought it from you though. No, this did not come from her. Some of the really funky wild ones. Yep. Did Julie Everett to the front calling Julie to the no, front of the door. I, did I buy this from you? I bought this from you. You might have. I, I think three of the pages came from her. Yeah, I must have bought it from you. 
So I think they're super fun. And then look at this. I didn't have very much of this, so it's not a full 10 by 10. Yeah. It's not shiny. I love it. Christina wants some for sure. Christina, don't you just love vintage? I love vintage. It's not wallpaper. I'm sorry, people. Wrong. Wrapping paper. Wrapping paper. Oh, I it is wrapping wrong. paper, not so much wallpaper. Sorry. Wrong. Oh, my God. Aaron, I am from the IHOP. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Redo. <laughs> yeah, Chris, it's wrapping paper. Oh, my God. People. Oh, hold on. Redo. Wrapping paper. Holy moly. Oh, the price? What's the price? Uh, it is seven dollars. Oh, what a good price, too. Oh my god, I paid a lot of wrapping paper. No matter what lies Jersey's trying to tell you, it's wrapping paper. You wrap presents with it, people, not your walls. Jesus, I don't know why I'm hired. Why'd you hire me? Uh, the price was right. It's wrapping paper. <laughs> Wrap your presents, ten pieces. So, yeah, Julie, I wanted you to see that because that's so you. All right. So I have got and my 007. And I've got my Julie Everidge. Yes. And it is very pretty. Kay Borland is wrapping paper. <laughs> Dumbass. I'm sorry. <laughs> Idiot. Hey, it's hard. And then when we have the audacity to be having fun, you know. No, you can have fun and still do things the right way. You can, but sometimes it just gets away from you, you know. All right. I know, but I, I have this paper, dude. I should know what it is. <laughs> no excuse this time. Journal cover right there. I agree. Yep. yep. Oh, you guys, come on. I've got three left. Anyone else? Come on, guys. If I didn't own it, I'd buy it myself. <laughs> Pam, yeah, real hoot over here. Screwing up my friend's business. Real hoot and holler. Yeah, I can do that all by myself. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really need my help to do that. I did. I think I liked it though. Pam, because <laughs> yeah. we're nuts, huh? <laughs> I always try to make it fun here at Recreations. <laughs> Art should be fun. Let's not get too serious. This, uh, is, true. this is true. One little Mary Engel bright pack left. It's some note cards, um, some little postcards, and. Oh, I oh, will. Julie wants another one. I got gotcha. you. I will even put your name on it so I'll know. My only concern with this, <laughs> Jersey, is that I've sorted everyone's stuff out every evening. There's so many piles, I'm afraid I'm going to do something really goofy. You know what? You'll just take your time as you sort them and don't freak out. You know, people, you know, it's, the, the, people do not expect, you know what, none of the people who buy expect you to get it when you're, when you're doing a week long sale, I'm sorry, but if they expect you to get it out in two days, then they're wrong. Well, I had told everyone I, I'm going to invoice over the weekend. That's my weekend. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's not Amazon people. W what was the price on these cards? These are $4. I, there's six cards in here and it's um, two of three different kinds. Little Mary Engelbright's. Good old Mary. I don't know if I spelled your name right there, Mary. Mer oh, yeah. Cutouts for creative journals. What a good idea, Kathy. They actually are adorable for that. And I only have one left. Yeah. And you can make little um, flippy doos and whatnot because everyone loves a flippy do. Christina oh. would like to make some flippy doos. She'll take them. All right, flippy do. Christina, thank you so very much. All right. Getting down to it. Oh, I've got two more things to show you. Then we'll do one more giveaway. And then I believe that it'll be time for me to go and try to excavate a spot, a spot to do creepy baby. Okay. All right, you guys. So these are super cute. They are children's book page packs. Children's book page packs. Okay. Oh, yay, Kathy. I'm glad you like them. It makes me happy when people love their, their stuff. A flippy doodly I do Flips doodly die, whatever Margie said. <laughs> okay, so these have 40 plus pages. There is the graded spelling book from 1885. So cute. How many pages? Uh, it's more than 40. Okay. 
This one is uh, one of the readers. Look at that. The old kind with just the black and orange. Those. I love all of this. I love these. I love these. I know you do. And then there's Spelling Goals 1945. I like all that. Look at all the fonts, you guys. All the funness. And then there's some Alice and Jerry, a signature. Good old Alice and Jerry. Good oh, old Alice and Jerry. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, this is a beautiful book, but the cover was killed. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? That's what that's the best kind though, because then you can just dig in, man. Well, you know it. I will anyway. I know. But you I know, know you can't. Hey, Amanda. Amanda, you're late. Shame how, much, you. how much are these going to be so I can just... Uh, um, they are eight each, and I've only got two. Okay. And it's the music hour from 1930. Look at that. All right. Where's the eight? Down? There it is. Okay, so only two people, so it's a really good deal. I mean, just the Alice and Jerry alone. Because you're a junkie for Alice and Jerry. Children's book page tax, $8. Yeah. Yeah. Go next. Oh, where's my where's my ruler to do the Margie trick? I should have done it. All right, Amanda, then you're excused. I suppose. Pearl Ann, Pearl Ann. Pearl Ann. thank you, Pearl Ann. Pearl Ann, what is that pretty picture you have? A pink picture. It's pretty. A rose? Is it a rose? I can't. I can't see. I can't tell. How'd it go, Amanda? How'd the job interview go? Oh, a 16-year-old off to work. That's always exciting. All right, you guys. We got one. We got one. Oh, Last okay. thing of the sale. Uh, we've got one more thing, because I've got one of these piles left. Oh, I thought this was it. oh okay. I thought oh, it's Camellia. Is that the oh, flower? Camellia. Oh, I love Camellia. Camellia? I don't know that flower. It's beautiful. A southern flower. Oh, so we, we have another bundle left? Yep, the bundle apparently. The children's pages. We got one left, so you'll see it again someday. <laughs> In the pile of you'll see it again someday. <laughs> I love that. So these are all reproduction. Um, well, most of them are die cuts from Victorian die cuts. They are not original. They're not super old. They're like from the 90s. Uh, and you get this whole big bundle, and it will be, I can't remember. A Victorian die cut reproduction bundle? Yep. Okay. 15 on them. I'm just getting the hang of it, guys, and it's time for us to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got two of these beautiful cards that are uh, birth announcements, but, you know, hack them off, and there you go. Hey, Angie. What's the price? Uh, it's going to be $15 for the whole bundle. Okay, Wow. Okay, and these are two wedding announcements. Again, hack them off and or cover the inside with like a journaling spot. Perfect. And it's little envelopes. Some of these little notepads. So cute. I've been in conference with an angel. <laughs> Painfully cute. Image. And I like this one, back talk. Oh, I like that. I know. Cool, huh? Yeah. Okay. And then we have, well, obviously you get a nice piece of um, seam binding. Okay, so these all have envelopes with them. This one is take my heart, sweet Valentine, and promise to be true. Then somewhat, then come what may, I'll be I a lover fond to you. And, and it's like, it's got a little stand up base. Very cute. Isn't it cute? Yeah. And a cool envelope. Oh, the whole big thing in the background is an envelope. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that was alive, that little rascal. <laughs> this one is, um, it like pops out and has a stand. Cupid run amok, driving about. Love shall ever be our guide with you, dearest, by my side. Also an envelope in the back. My God, you could use all these envelopes to make a journal. Yeah. <laughs> little fatty cherubs. To my Valentine, <laughs> giant envelope. What happened to your eye, Amanda? Oh no. Oh yeah, what happened?
another giant envelope, best wishes, and this stands up too. That is so cute. I've never seen that one. Then we've got a spinning angel. Spinning oh die cut. God, I love that. I've never seen a spinning die cut. Isn't that funny? Very I'm sorry, what? Does that have glitter on the wings? God, yeah, on the little Christmas oh, banner. And to tie her head up. Oh, Where's Tony? That's her favorite. <laughs> right? Okay, I'm putting it in, people. I'm putting it in. I wanted to put let you see if, a little bit of it. And then this beautiful, she's 12 inches, and then there's the giant envelope. And look at this, you guys. It's a fan. Beautifully reproduced from an original 1901 paper fan. Look at the little puppies. Aww. Yeah, so that's kind of fun. I, the rest that's of them really are fun. Really, really fun. And, you know, anybody who's afraid to use the stuff that they think, you know, because it's, a, well, this is reproduction, so. Yes. So you can use the face off of it. Don't copy it. <laughs> right, but you can use it and not be like, oh, you know, you know so it's like people get all freaked out. I don't mind using the original ephemera, but other people do. Yeah. I don't mind it either. But it might be because you have a bunch and I live in a house with a whole attic full, so. <laughs> yeah. Does, you're not allowed to play with that, though, are you? Yeah, I can't. You know, I mean, I can. I just, I don't really care for it. Brooke, how do you see the art that I like to make doesn't include that stuff? That's true. You're not much of the uh, vintage. Well, like Elle, she likes vintage stuff, but she likes color too much. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I appreciate vintage, but if I wanted to make my art out of the stuff upstairs for myself, He'd have no problem with that right. um, if I really cared to, but it not, you know, he doesn't want me to like give it away to people for, you know, who I, you know, he doesn't know just to give it away. <laughs> just some people on the street. No, I don't know. Handed out like flyers. All right. No. No papers on this one? All right. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's do one more giveaway. Okay. We've had too much fun. Amanda, I'm so sorry to hear that. Thanks, Amanda. Take care of it. You know, that's probably clogged a pore or something. Yeah, she tried new new cream. Yeah. You know what I say? Don't use cream on your eyes. Your eyes are probably just beautiful as they are. Okay. I found it. Wait, can I Margie feels me. You feel me, Margie. Down the light. Okay. One man's one man's trash is another man's treasure. One man's treasure is another man's trash, right? Isn't that the truth? Let's give this away because it's super duper fun. Okay. Speaking of Tim Holtz, this does have an extra supply of his used Q-tips in it. <laughs> Just for Aaron. Just for Aaron. Yep. Now remember, we are entering me. And after they see, after you see the giveaway, enter me. Don't enter a number, just enter me. All right, guys, ready? And I'm going to deal the cards. All right, here we go. I'm going to deal them. I'm going to shuffle them. <laughs> and wants to know if. <laughs> With his newest product, earwax. Ann wants to know if he has, are they just, of course, Ann. Distress? All right. Here we go. Hey, Ray. Always fun to see who's lurking. Hey, Ray. Sweet Ray. David. Hey, David. All right. We ready? Tell me which one, Jersey. Sure. Stop. This one or this one? Either one. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, that one. Five. Oh, if it was 12, man, I was going to buy a lottery ticket, man. Yeah, that would have been weird, huh? Moving to the San Juan Islands tomorrow. <laughs> Go, we're moving. We win, we win the lottery. And he's, he puts in his notice tomorrow. <laughs> that looks like Natalie Randall to me. Yay, Natalie! Yay, Natalie! Make cool. yourself a lock fixture thing. Awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. It's got the clock and it's got all the little elements in it. It's got all kinds. And an instruction booklet. And Tim Holtz's Q-tips. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, 
Tomorrow's going to be the last day of the madness, you guys. <laughs> Any requests on what you want to see? Not Laura back for the moderating because she doesn't okay. know how to do it. <laughs> We've had the best group of moderators. It's been awesome. I appreciate you guys so much. No, thanks for having me. It was fun. It was. Fun. No, it was awesome. I'll make sure to rally your cage again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's going to miss Natalie. Thank you, Natalie. Thank all of you so, so much. Thanks, guys. It was fun. It was super fun. And now, um, yeah. You never can, especially when they're Tim Holtz's, really. <laughs> so, yeah, if there's anything that you're interested in, shoot me a message. Um, oh, Margie says she wants you back as mod. Uh, it's because I love Margie so much. And she knows that because I, I live true to the name of the waffle. <laughs> the waffle. <laughs> well, Aaron, said, Aaron said, were there still some things available? Aaron was saying to Amanda, I don't know if there were. Um, there were, there was that one giant die cut bundle with some gift wrap. It's gift wrap. Let's be clear. Yeah. Not wallpaper. Nope. <laughs> Nobody had any wallpaper up in here. <laughs> Anita, thanks for coming. So this is the children's book page pack. Um, and this was the gift wrap. Vintage. He said she'll go back and check it out again. Cool. Yeah. All righty. You guys, this was so lovely. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Tomorrow will be the last day of the madness. Margie wants waffle. Margie, that's something I can cook. If you ever come to Jersey, I will make you frozen waffles. <laughs> <laughs> frozen waffles. No, in Jersey, you have to go to the diner. Are you kidding? I will, Aaron. I sure will. Right up as soon as I get off. You guys are absolutely amazing. This was so fun. Give me a little bit to excavate a spot for the creepy baby. Uh, what time is it? Oh, good grief. 515. It may be 615 before the creepy baby, guys. Because I got to. It's a mess up in here. All right, Brookie. I love you. I love you, Laura. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. I love you guys. Thanks for having me. Bye. Hey, take care. Bye, guys. Yes, Grandma. We're still going to do the creepy baby. It might just be a little late while I'm going to go grab a snack and then um, try to make some room. Awesome. And thank you. What time on Sunday? What? Hoodie. Bye, you guys. I love you all. Waiting to see what Aaron's looking for on Sunday. Did I say Sunday? Lee, thanks for coming. What the heck, Aaron? Did I say Sunday? I meant tomorrow. Wait, Aaron, what? <laughs> and I go home confused. Cool. That's how it should be. Thanks, you guys. Love you. See you in a bit.